person I see here. How are you? Hello. Welcome in. Hello, everybody. Shirley Clark, how you doing? Ron Wilson, how you doing? Hello. Thomas Smith, how you doing today? Welcome in to everybody. Happy, happy Saturday. We're going to have a great day today. Miss Karen, hello. Charlene Bell, hello. How's everybody doing? I hope y'all are having a great day today. Andre, how you doing? Hello. Lynette Kama, hello, Vic. How you doing? Glenda, how you doing? Maddie, hello. How are you? Miss Karen, hello. Debbie Sinclair, hello, hello. Lakeisha Harris, how you doing today? Miss Karen says hello to Shirley. Eula, hello, Deborah, Erica, Rhonda Prelo, Felicia, Alicia, Michelle. Everybody, hello as you come in. Bring the thumbs up up. Let's make sure that that thumbs up during this live. Let's make sure the thumbs up match with the people that's in here, y'all. I'm here to show y'all a good recipe and a good time today. We're gonna have so much fun. Dog Man is back. Welcome back. Carmen, welcome back. Nancy, welcome back. Miss B, hello. Marietta, if you are new, Hope Brown, hello. If you are new, let me know that you're new so I can welcome you in such a way. And if I happen to miss your message, the people in the background will love to welcome you. Welcome to Jeannie Young's family. We're going to have a good time today. Felicia and Renee, hello. Shakita, Sh Shaquita, Shaquita, is it Shaquita? Hello. Kendra, hello, James Reed, Kay Alexander, blessed for, I, I can never remember the name. Uh, welcome, <laughs> little bit, how you doing? Georgia Baker, hello. Uh, D Gaines, hello. I'm doing okay, I'm doing okay, y'all. I got energy today. I got energy today and I thank the good Lord that I feel well today. Lisa Rudolph, how you doing today? Your recipe looks so good, it does. Okay, great, thank you. Welcome, welcome in, welcome, welcome in. I'm glad you all are here today, Tiana. Alyssa Wooten, thank you for the love. I love you so much. Valencia, welcome back. Derek Eads, how you doing? McKaylee, hello, Mary, hello. I'm doing okay, y'all. Thank you all for asking. How, how are you guys doing? Now, you need to put water in there because the water is not, okay? And I need this over there where it should be and I need the internet going on it, okay? Good afternoon. Robert Rose, how you doing? Faz, Fazwa, Fazwa, Faza. K Coffee, hello. Valencia Pickett, welcome. L Nola, welcome. Tisha, hello, welcome. Christopher Williams, welcome back. Horrible sinus infection. Oh my goodness. Well, hopefully we can get that fixed. Oh. Mary, hello. Robert Rose. Okay. All right, y'all. Um. You sound like a producer? Oh my goodness, a producer of food. <laughs> a producer of food. <laughs> Lynette, how you doing today? Angela Casey, welcome, welcome back. Okay, so what's on today's menu is really, really interesting. Really, really interesting. I'm here to show you all how to make Asian orange chicken. You know, you can get it uh, possibly at um, your Asian market. I think that Panda Express, I'm not really a fan of Panda Express, but I think that they carry uh, orange chicken. So I'm gonna show you all my version, how it's made and how delicious and easy it is made. What happened, what did you hit? Just You need more. All right, Renee, hello. Or Maggie Renee. Maggie Reenie. <laughs> There's Renee. 
Renee right there says, welcome to Scott. Vic says, oh, snap. Y'all, I, th I thought he broke the water fountain. I told him put water in there. I thought he put I told him put water in there. And when he went over, he took the water and just banged it up against the glass. I thought he I thought he broke it. But he's okay. I'm glad he didn't break it. Drew Moss, welcome back. Deku Warrior. CC, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Bring the thumbs up up. Bring the thumbs up up. Let's make a match the whole time during this live. Okay, so good morning, Debbie. Latika, you're back. How are you? Um, so I'm going to give a few more people um, the chance to bring the thumbs up up. And then also um, some people need to come into the chat that's not in the chat yet that may want to cook with us. So we'll probably wait another seven minutes and then I'm going to jump up. We're going to get started cooking. Y'all, it's Saturday and we're going to have a fun time making, yes. Cece, we're making orange chicken, Gina Young style. It's gonna knock your socks off, you hear me. Karen, how you doing? Ethel Bailey, hello. <laughs> okay, Deborah says, oh yeah. <laughs> Hi there, Derek Eads. See Ann, hello. Nicole Stucco, welcome back. Turn your music down. Gina, can you make, let me see what you just said. Uh, if I find, if I see the message. Somebody had just asked me. You're going to White Castles. White Castles sounds good. <laughs> hey, bring me some. And I will tell you what I want. You're going to bring me some. I want a double cheeseburger, a double castle. I want an onion chip and um a regular castle with no onions <laughs> i love white castle y'all but here's the thing you got you love orange chicken drill yeah it listen this recipe is amazing i only like white castles when it's fresh when it's fresh and the bread is hot and soggy and the cheese is melty it tastes so good but if they hand it to you and it's old and it's cold, I get so upset. Like, I just want to, like, I get so upset. I don't want to tell you what I want to do when I get bad White Castles. <laughs> yes, Maggie Reeney says, great day. Absolutely. Okay, so Derek says, I love White Castle, too. But, oh, you don't have them in Illinois. Okay, okay, okay. So do you have crystals? I, I know that they said crystals is very similar to White Castle. You're glad to be here. Well, welcome in. Like I said, if at any time there's anybody in this chat that's new, tell me that you're new so I can welcome you in such a way. Have a blessed day on this Saturday. Thank you, Erica. You too. We, we are going to have a good time. Turn your music down. Y'all listen, I'm going to knock him out if he don't turn the music down. I, I, I think y'all just counted two times I just told him to turn the music down. Welcome, new member. Absolutely. Yes, Debbie Gibson. You loving the new set of the sofa? Oh, yeah, we just kind of changed things around just a little bit. So I, I like to switch things around a little bit. And then you can see how that... Um, you see how the, how the window is more open, right? So I really like that. I'm new. Can I get a shout out? Y'all, that's Drew Moss. <laughs> he is not new. Don't anybody think he knew. <laughs> you don't have crystals in Jersey. Okay. Okay, so now, listen, are you ready? Are you ready? If you're ready, I'm getting ready. Get up. We're going to get that apron on. We're going to get started cooking. Hi, cousin Gina says, what's your name? Your name is Shell Tinsley. Welcome, Shell. Thank you for coming in and joining us. A uh, little bit said, little bit said, there, little bit is not new. <laughs> Y'all funny today. I see how today is going to go. Lady Linda says, let's go. Derek, he said he's new. He ain't new. Y'all. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get up, get my apron on right now. I want you all to get your ingredients out, okay? 
Make sure you have all your ingredients out readily available to you. Okay? I'm, I'll, give me one second. I gotta get my microphone. Can you go grab my microphone for me? Oh, Y'all listen, so guess what I'm doing? I'm waiting on uh the people to deliver my paper towels. We ain't got no paper towels here. So I'm waiting on the paper towels to arrive. <laughs> Where are they? They might be over here. Okay, let me get this apron on y'all. So hopefully the paper towels get here in time and I'll have paper towels to work with today. chicken yes 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 so what I'm gonna do right now we're going to um, put the microphone on and as you all know or those of you that are familiar with me as we put the microphone in the sound will leave but it'll come right back in one second not even one second so now uh, somebody had asked I actually had a uh, several people Ask me this, can this recipe be made with chicken that has the bone on and skin on? I, I don't suggest that you do. It, it, it just wouldn't work out. You gotta have boneless, skinless chicken and you can use um, chicken breast and or chicken thighs, okay? They're saying hi, Dakota. They're saying hi, Dakota. <laughs> he said, hey. All right, got the microphone on. Now let's attach it. There we go. Happy Saturday, let's rock and roll. Now, let me ask before I, I go to the other side, who's cooking with me? Anybody in here today that's cooking with me, I'd love to know. Are you cooking or you're just watching? Purple Love, welcome back. Uh, Drew says, what's up, Dakota? He said, hey. Taking notes? Okay. Let's get the, okay. Taking notes, taking notes. Okay, if you wind up, you're watching. Okay. Dakota, how are you? Says Heidi Fuller. Mm. Heidi Fuller, how you doing? Watching, watching, watching. Okay, if there's anybody in here that's going to cook with me, let me know that you're cooking. If I didn't, you know, see a message already. All right, I'm going to flip this camera around right now. Oh, it looks like somebody is... Oh, okay, you're just watching today. Okay. Miss M. Beasley, you want to sit at my table? <laughs> All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to come around and wash my hands, and then I want to show you all how easy it is to put together the batter. The batter is, like, probably the hardest thing, and it's really not hard. So get your pen and paper out so you definitely can take notes. Okay, so we're getting ready to go. I'm coming around and wash my hands. I'll use this until the paper towels are delivered. <laughs> yes, I will. Brenda, hello. Go ahead and turn the air on in the fan. Get the youngest started in this kitchen every time. As soon as I walk around here, it gets hot in the kitchen. It never fails. As soon as I walk around, I was just fine on the other side. <laughs> All right, ooh, almost lost the computer, but we're okay. We'll have a good day today. Okay, 
Let me get my hands washed. Pixie dust. Did somebody say hello to Pixie dust? Welcome in. What was you? You turned the air on? Okay. All right, my hands are nice and clean. I do need to grab my chicken out of the refrigerator. now clean. I wash my chicken and I use lime juice, I use salt and cold water, and then we pat it dry. Okay? So um, it is boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You can use boneless, skinless chicken breast if you want. Okay? Jacina, hello. Thank you for the hearts going up, y'all. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I really do. I love when I see those hearts going up. Thank you so much. I love when you guys press that button there. Okay, so now, let's talk about some of our ingredients first off. So we have our chicken that's boneless, skinless, and we've cleaned it. We have it setting aside. We're going to need some oil to fry the um, chicken, and then we're also going to need some oil to put into our batter, okay? We're going to be using uh, cornstarch in our batter, flour in our batter, baking powder in our batter, okay? Now, for, we're going to season the chicken using garlic powder, black pepper, and salt. And for our sauce, we're going to be using orange zest of a half of an orange. We're going to use orange juice. We're going to use sugar, a cornstarch slurry, ketchup and soy sauce, but we'll get to that. I'm just running through the ingredients real quick. Let's get started with uh, me showing you all how to make the batter. Once we get the batter made, then we'll cut our chicken and get our yeah, the people are at the door bringing the paper towels. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Okay. All right. First ingredient. 
ingredient. We are going to use three fourths of a cup of flour. You want to get something to level off your flour. And what I mean by level off your flour, when you're making some ingredients, and that, and that also, uh, I'm talking about baking as well. You need to have accurate measurements or it won't turn out right. Let's just say you're the person that just dips that baby in and you, you know, decide to mix up your batter. It might not turn out the way mine does. You take the bottom of your butter knife and you level it off so you have an accurate measure, okay? So now we're going to measure three-fourths of a cup. Oh, see, see? That's why, <laughs> that's just why I put the plate under there. But it's okay, y'all. No, no stressing out in this kitchen. You hear me? Three-fourths of a cup. Look how I'm measuring it. Can y'all see me real good? Wham, bam. Three-fourths, okay? Put it into this bowl just like so. Next thing we want to measure out is a half a cup of cornstarch, okay? Let me put this in a bag. I'll be right back. today. If you're not, you're gonna. You're gonna have a great time here at the Young's house cooking live with me, okay? So now same thing. We want to, you know, get it nice and level, okay? Half a cup going in. Then we're gonna put our water in, and our water is gonna be a half a cup of water plus two tablespoons of water, okay? So what we need to do is, as you use your ingredients, move what you've used already. So this cornstarch, we're going to need it for later for our sauce, so I'm not going to push it this way, okay, where I put the flour. We're going to grab a half a cup, and, and make sure your water is cold water. Half a cup of water plus two tablespoons of water. We're going to put it right on top of our flour and our cornstarch. Now let me find my measuring cup. There you are. And I want to put my half a cup. Cold water, always cold water, never ever hot or warm water, okay? And when you're measuring out your, when you're measuring out liquid in your, your cup here, you want to go this way. So you can see the accurate measurement. If you just look at it from here, it may look like a half a cup, but really it's a cup. So when you come at eye level, you can see it more better, okay? I just have to put that out here. Okay, let me see how much I got. We have a half a cup. Going in just like so. And then we need two tablespoons. Let me get my tablespoon. Yo, if y'all can see my shoes, my shoes don't match. My shoes don't match. These shoes are just to be nice and comfortable. <laughs> All right, here's one tablespoon. And here's the second one. Just like so. So we have our half a cup plus two tablespoons of water. What, what did we just put in there? Okay, there's our half a cup. Here's our two tablespoons. Okay, great. And so then we're going to use two teaspoons of baking powder. Now, the baking powder, what I love about the baking powder is it has this little lip here. You see that lip there? Can you all see that? When, uh, you know how we um, leveled it off? 
you can use that lip to level off your baking powder. Can you all see that good? There's one teaspoon. There's two, and we level it off using that little piece right there. Okay? We're going to put one egg in and two tablespoons of oil. Teaspoon, okay. So one nice fresh egg, okay? Make sure you don't get no shells in that baby. All right, just like so. Two tablespoons of oil. Let me get my tablespoon. And the batter, hey, it's done. And that was the hardest part of the recipe, right? So honestly, how simple was that? It was easy peasy. Easy piece. You can put a little bit of salt in here if you wanted to. There's one tablespoon. There's two. And you can take a whisk and or a fork and just make sure you get any lumps that's in there out of there, okay? I'm going to put a little tiny bit of salt. And when I tell y'all, excuse me, a little tiny bit of salt, I really mean it. Just one pinch. That's it, that's all you need. Okay, as we use the ingredients, if you don't need it no more, put it to the side so you know what you've used already, okay? So I'm gonna look in the comment section and see how everyone is doing. Okay, how's everybody doing? Let's go ahead and mix. Mix it just like so. In the beginning when you mix this, it's gonna feel like kind of funny. Like, did I make it right? Yes, you made it right, okay? But it takes a minute for, you know, it's gonna rise a little bit because the baking powder, which is a leavening agent, is gonna to help to uh, make a batter that's kind of puffy and crispy, right? You all know the batter from Asian chicken, right? That's the batter that we're gonna to achieve today or yeah, onto our chicken, okay? So whisk it real good, get any lumps and bumps out of there. And there's the batter, okay? So now let me see how everybody's doing. Is everybody doing okay? Thank you, Ron. I know, Drew, you're like me because I don't really care for Panda Express. I don't, I don't, I don't care for Panda Express. I feel like it's Americanized, and when I have an Asian recipe, I want it to taste authentic. And I don't feel like their food tastes authentic. So, and that's just how I feel, you know? All right, so now take a look at the batter and look how gorgeous it is. Ha ha! It's gorgeous. If you have any lumps, do what you can to get it out, but really there's no worry if there is any lumps, okay? So now, I want to bring forth the seasoning for the chicken. At this point, I'm going to see if anybody needs help. And if they need help, I can help you right now or answer any serious questions. If not, we're going to go ahead and cut our chicken. And after we cut our chicken, we're going to um, season it. And the chicken will go into the batter, okay? And then all you got to do is make that quick and simple sauce that is real easy, right? How's everybody doing? Is everybody okay? Angela from Barbados. Angela, welcome. Thank you for coming in. You have been little express, but you don't think, <laughs> you don't think you want it now, yeah? Erica Lockhart, hello. Ron, I don't think they know how to do, I, I know, G. Hughes, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I just love Pan Express. Uh oh, shame on me. Oh my goodness. You love it. Okay, Miriam. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's take our time. I'm going to get a nice sharp knife. I want to slice these babies. And I'm going to show you how I like to slice these here chicken thighs and/or your chicken breasts. Because there's a lot of people that say, you know what, Gina? 
I don't like the chicken thighs. I want chicken breasts. And if you do, you just do the same method that I'm doing here, okay? So now, what you're going to see me doing during this live is I will be cleaning and sanitizing my board after I take my chicken off, okay? It's something that you just have to do, okay? All right, so now I've got a nice sharp knife. Take a look over at the piece of chicken here. I'm going to do a slice just like so, okay? And I'm going to cut it in this manner. So take a look at that piece. I'm very happy with that piece. Now, if, there, if at any time there's some fat onto your chicken, go ahead and do what you can to take it off. You might need kitchen shears, okay? But some of you, if you want to leave the fat on, that's fine. It's up to you guys, okay? But for the most part, if I see a lot on there, oh, I'm taking it off, right? All right, there we go. So we're going to cut several pieces in this manner, do what you can to make the pieces like the same size. When you make the pieces the same size, um, everything cooks at the same time. But if you have little pieces in with the big pieces, the little pieces get done and your big pieces are left still cooking. So do what you can. Sometimes it's not possible to make them all even, but just do what you can. I'm, I got my kitchen shears and I'm going to take some fat off. I know that there's a lot of people that likes chicken fat, so if you want to leave it on, by all means you can. No worries there. Frankie, hello, welcome in. How are you? So we're slicing and dicing up our chicken. It's Saturday. I hope y'all are having a great day today. If you're not, then you're gonna. to cook my chicken in. It's literally, I'd like to say, about this much oil. And the purpose for using that much oil is me personally, I just like for my meat to have room to float up away from the bottom. If you have a little tiny bit of oil, guess what your chicken will be doing? Well, it'll be sitting at the bottom and it'll get burnt. But if you put enough oil in, it'll have room to rise in your pan you ain't got to worry about your chicken sitting at the bottom and getting really dark. Okay, so that's always my purpose because people do ask me, Gina, why do you use so much oil? Well, that's my purpose. Okay, so I just clarified that. <laughs> I just clarified that. <laughs> y'all are having a good day today, and I hope you all are having a great one as well. All right, perfect. So now I'm almost done chopping up our chicken. Now, um, if you have an internal thermometer, we're going to be cooking this chicken until it's 165 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? 165 Fahrenheit, get your poultry well done and make sure that it's cooked, okay? There we go. Okay, so we're all done with our chicken here. Got a little bit of fat I want to get rid of there, here and there. Welcome in if you're just now coming in. We are making orange chicken Gina Young style. Okay, so let me wash my hands. And then what I want to do, um, after washing my hands, I want to touch my spices. I can't touch the spices right now because I have bacteria from the chicken on my hands. And if I touch these spices right now, I'm going to transfer bacteria. So you wash your hands, okay? You want to wash our hands right now. We're going to come back into the equation. Did you go get the paper towels? Hmm? Did you get the paper towels? No, I did not. Go get them. Thank you. All right, my hands are nice and clean. And now we can season up that chicken. 
into this gorgeous protein. Okay, and then I'm going to bring the batter into the effect. Batter into the effect. Back in effect. I think that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> All right, now watch this. Check me out. The chicken goes into the batter. Okay? And our cutting board has to be washed. Okay? I don't mind getting my hands a little dirty. Guess what? That's what we got soap and water for. Now we have paper towels. Laugh with me. Now we have paper towels I can wash and dry my hands right off. Okay, so I'm going to put this right on top of there. I'm going to take all of this here. I'm going to wash my hands, get this cutting board nice and clean, and then work on that. I'm going to show you the oil, show you how much I have. We're going to get started on this quick and simple sauce. But listen, once you get started making this, everything comes together so quickly. It does. It does. Thank you, Ron. Thank you so much. Ron, I appreciate you. <laughs> Telling the people to give a thumbs up. They should give a thumbs up. I don't know why they wouldn't. <laughs> Thank you all for coming in and joining. I appreciate each and every one of you all. I'm sanitizing my board. Okay? Sanitizing the board, making sure that it's nice and clean. Okay. I want to wipe this down and put another paper towel underneath my board. The purpose for having a paper towel underneath my cutting board is so my cutting board doesn't go swiveling all over the place when I'm trying to cut something or cook, you know. Right? That's the last thing we need when we're trying to use a cutting board. You don't want it to swivel around and you cut yourself, you know. All right, so when I'm cleaning this cutting board off, I'm cleaning the sides and the underneath. Even though we didn't use the underneath, but, you know, bacteria can travel. Okay, I'm coming back into the equation here in just one second. I gotta dry my cutting board down. All right. I'll look and see how the messages are going, if everybody's doing okay. If there's anybody in here cooking with me. All right. A lot of times people will tell me that they are cooking with me, um, but not commenting in the comment section. And then later they'll send me like a picture of their food, but they wasn't in the comment section. So that's really nice to know that in the background there is people cooking along. And, um, you know, because sometimes it's a little hard for people to cook and comment in the comment section. And I can totally understand that, you know? All right. So now we have seasoned chicken that has been cut. We made a beautiful batter. Let's make our way over this way so I can show you how much oil we're gonna be using. And we're gonna get started heating up our oil so we can fry our beautiful chicken. Oh, I just spilled the, what is, it's okay. <laughs> So take a look at the oil. You can see, come down this way and they can really see how much. Oh, I'd like to say it's about this much, okay? Perfect. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn the oil on medium high. I don't wanna turn it up on high. Turning it up on high can make your oil too hot. 
and then you turn around, put your chicken in, and that baby will burn just that quick, and the inside won't be done. So, if you heat it up on a medium, medium high if you want, you know, keep a good eye on it. You don't want it to get too hot. You don't want to cook your chicken on in oil that's too hot, okay? Because, like I said, the same thing will happen. The outside will get done real quick. Inside won't get done. So medium, medium high is what you're looking for, and that's what mine's is on right now. So let's make our way over this way. I'm going to show you all um, how to put together this easy sauce. I done got garlic powder all over the place. But it's okay. My Holy King, welcome back. Or you said Izzy in here. Okay, we don't know. Okay. All right, so now our sauce is going to consist of a cornstarch slurry, which what you do, we're going to be using two tablespoons of cornstarch and a little tiny bit of water, okay? Um, we're going to be using soy sauce, oranges, or, you know, the juice from the orange, and we're going to zest a half of a lemon. Put that zest into the sauce. It's going to make it taste great, okay? Ketchup. Is the ketchup going to make the sauce taste like ketchup? Nope. I promise you it won't, okay? Like, it's my promise to you. <laughs> Sugar. Now, if at any time you feel like your sauce is sweet enough, then please just omit the sugar and you don't have to use it, okay? All right? So this here is going to be um, where we're going to put our a little bit of water and cornstarch, but I'll, sh I'll show you all of that, okay? So don't let nobody worry. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to grab my measuring cup so I can show you all exactly how much of everything you're going to need. Let's get this measuring cup nice and clean so we can reuse it. Okay, how's everybody doing in the comment section? Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the hearts going up, y'all. Purple love, thank you. Christy Fowler, hello. All right, so what I'm looking for, I am looking for around about a cup of orange juice. If you can, <laughs> if I drop it, then I'll feel real funny. Um, I'm looking for about a cup of orange juice. Somebody in the comment section will probably wonder, okay, Gina, can you turn around and use orange juice? Absolutely you can, and I have before. Okay, so if you got some orange juice in the refrigerator, go ahead and use it. But what about the zest? Don't worry about it, okay? That, that's how you make sure that you're stress-free. Don't worry about nothing, all right? Here we go. Watch this. That's easier said than done when I tell y'all that. <laughs> Sometimes I'll be stressing out, y'all. <laughs> Sometimes I'll be stressing out. You can laugh with me. It's definitely okay. Okay, so now we're looking for a cup. Let's just say out of these oranges, we don't get a cup. It's fine. Whatever you get, we'll use, okay? Because your orange might not be as juicy as my orange. What you got? The orange tester? You got one? Good call to the save today. Come on. Thank you. Orange zester. <laughs> if you don't have an orange zester, I'm going to show you what I was going to do <laughs> before he just saved the day. You take your fork and you go in that baby like so and literally look how I'm juicing it. Okay, so you see that? Somebody out there sees that. Just taking your fork and you're kind of forking the... <laughs> The orange. Okay, I know that sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Okay, so since I have one of these, I didn't know where the heck it was. I'm gonna try my best to get out a cup. And if I don't get a cup, I'm gonna use what I got. Okay? Don't stress yourself out. Oh no, I didn't get a cup. Don't worry. <laughs> don't you worry about that. These are navel oranges, and look, look, look at all that. 
all that goodness is down in here. I'm so happy with that. Thank you for getting that for me. Grandma says Raymond Duck Donuts or Duncan. Neither. Neither. Not Duck Donuts or Duncan Donuts. I'm not a fan of neither one. I want the donuts that I grew up on. Y'all, I grew up on donuts that came from a place called Jolly Pirate Donuts. And those donuts was the best. You hear me? And then one day we heard on the news that a rat was fried onto the donut. And my dad said, uh-uh. My dad said, ain't no, my dad said, never again. Better. And we never had donuts ever again from that place. And that was a childhood memory place that we would go to. You know, like on Saturdays, my dad would bring home the big variety pack. It came in a brown box. Right? It was like a brown treasure box, a paper brown treasure box. And it was so exciting. But when we seen that on the news, my dad said, you can get no more donuts. And your donut dreams is gone. That's what he told me. <laughs> you said, oh. <laughs> welcome, Mildred. Welcome back in. Absolutely. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, y'all, I'm really juicing this orange, and I'm so happy. But I'm getting a nice amount of juice here. Okay, look at that. Some of that pulp ain't never hurt nobody either. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to continue to get the juice out any kind of way you can. Okay, as much juice as you get out, I'm happy with it. Okay, it's going to be okay. Trust me. <laughs> y'all tell me y'all love my stories. I love to tell a good story. If I have a good childhood story, or some type of story. I love to tell it. <laughs> I do. I do. I tell y'all what, my husband has some good funny stories. Y'all hear me? Oh man, he got some good childhood funny stories. We have me cracking up. Okay, so now that we have that, I, I got about three fourths of a cup, which is almost a cup, and I'm happy with that. Okay, so let me see. Hold on. for having another orange is I'm going to use the other orange for garnish, okay? You got to, you know, slice up a nice pretty garnish to let them know what type of meal it is. You understand what I'm saying? So if I make something that has lemon in it, I like to use lemon for a garnish. Let them know what's in it, right? Make it nice and pretty. Do what you can to make whatever you're cooking nice and pretty. Okay, so we've achieved that one cup. Okay, how about it? Perfect. I tell you what, that orange juice looks good enough to drink, right? Ooh, we ain't got no orange juice here. All right. How about that? So now, let me show you. Got one cup freshly squeezed orange juice or orange juice just simply out of your, you know, your refrigerator, okay? We are going to use, let me grab a measuring cup because I want you all to have the correct measurements, all right? One fourth of a cup of soy sauce, okay? It seems like a bunch. Well, it is. This is going to be, it's kind of, it's, it's savory, you know, so it does have a salty, but then it has a sweet taste too, okay? Just barely one fourth is what I have. So I didn't go all the way up, okay? So we're gonna put that in just like so. <laughs> we're getting there, this is easy, y'all. Easy peasy. Now make sure that you're heating up your oil and you don't have it up too high, okay? And what I want you all to do with the ketchup is use your same one-fourth measuring cup and I want you to measure out one-fourth of the ketchup. This, by all means, does not make it taste like ketchup, and I can promise you that, okay? So now, if you happen to miss something when you're taking the notes, don't freak out, because in the description below, after I'm making this live, we'll put the ingredients in there for you to let you know, you know, what you possibly missed. 
So that's one fourth of a cup of ketchup. Beautiful. Okay. Let's give that a nice stir, just like so. Okay, and what I want to do, I want to take a spoon and I want to taste this. I want to know how sweet it is. You might have oranges that's really, really sour. I might have oranges that's really, really sweet. So you taste it to see how much sugar you want to put in. But I'm also going to tell you how much sugar I'm going to put in, okay? So let me, let me, let me just taste it. Mm, y'all, it's good like that already. Mm, mm, mm. So you're getting a little bit of sweetness from this ketchup here. Mm, mm, mm. You can really, 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 you can really taste the orange flavor. I love that. But when I think about it, I need sugar. I just need sugar, okay? So I'm going to turn around. I'm going to use the same one-fourth of a cup, and I'm going to put some sugar in, Okay? Just like so, and then I'm going to taste it and see how happy I am with the flavor next. Okay, let's use a different spoon because I know there's some people out there that's going to say, no, don't, uh-uh, don't do that. <laughs> mm. Perfect. I am so happy with that. Oh, it tastes so good. It does, tastes very good. So just mix and mix, just like so. Okay, I'm gonna turn around and put one fourth of a cup of water in here. Oh, it tastes good. Okay, and we're gonna leave this sauce to the side because we're not using it right now. Now, we're gonna go ahead and make our cornstarch slurry and get it out the way, okay? Here's how it's done. You're going to use a tablespoon. Let me wash this off. Let me wash this tablespoon off. My oil, I can smell that my oil is doing great. I'm going to move the oil off of the burner because I don't want for my, I don't want for my, um, hold on y'all, <laughs> technical difficulties. I don't want for my oil to get too hot, okay? So when you're worried about something like that, then you turn around and just take it off the burner. Just take it off the burner just for now until you can get to it, okay? So now two tablespoons, and this is just a house tablespoon. I'm not using a measuring spoon. You, you don't got to, okay? There's one. There's two. And we're gonna put a tiny bit of water in there. And the, um, the cornstarch slurry is gonna to help to make that sauce that we just made nice and thick. Okay, so as you use your ingredients, move them out your way. You know what you've used already. I'm, I'm literally, let me, let me just do this. I wanna show you how much water. I was just gonna pour it in, but I feel like I need to show you a little bit so you can understand. Just that little bit. That little bit? Yes! Just that little bit and make sure you get the cornstarch and the water well incorporated, okay? So, I'll tell you the perfect time to put this slurry into that beautiful... Yo, the sauce tastes so good. But here's the thing. If you taste your sauce right now, it's not going to taste the greatest, but when it cooks, listen, you can't, t you can't, they ain't gonna be able to tell you nothing. All right, that's how good it is. So, cornstarch slurry. Let's put it over there with our sauce. Okay? So I can move my spices over here. I'm gonna keep the spices here just in case I want to use them. So now this right here is a cookie sheet and a cooling rack. If you don't have a cooling rack, then just get a paper towel. The purpose for using this is when my chicken comes out of that oil, I want to set it onto something so it doesn't just set in its own oil and get soggy. We want the chicken to remain nice and crispy. So you can use a paper towel to set it on there or one of these. And then it's up off of the grease. The grease will go in there, the chicken's setting on here, okay? So now, we're gonna let the uh, oil cool down just by 
satisfy a little bit, I want to bring the chicken back into the equation. And the next time I, we grab that chicken, which will be in about two minutes after the oil cools down, our chicken is getting ready to go into the oil. We're going to cook it till it's golden brown. You know that fried chicken color, right? You know that Asian chicken color when you go to get, um, let's see, your sugai, sesame chicken, something like that. That's the color that we're looking for. But remember, if you're ever unsure of um, if your chicken is cooked or not, you use a thermometer and your reading should be 165 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? Hello, Mary Jane. Raven says I got my, let's see. Oh, you're back in the game. <laughs> okay, that's great. That's great, Raven. <laughs> Purple love. I don't like orange chicken from restaurants, but never tried making it your own. Okay, purple love, you got to try to make it your own. You, listen, you make it your own, you're going to love it. You're going to be so happy with, with this recipe, I promise. Okay, so let's take a peek in at our oil. Let's bring our chicken. I'm going to have you guys follow me here in just a second. Okay. I'm almost ready, but I'm not ready. All right. So now as you are cooking, what I'm doing right here, I'm wiping my sink down. I'm getting ready to make some hot soapy bleach water. Some hot soapy water so my dishes can just sit in there and get nice and clean. And then when it's time to wash them, all we really have to do is just wipe, wipe them off because they've been setting in hot water. Instead of just having, you know, your dishes caked up and not soaking, soak them and the dishes will be so much easier to do. You won't mind doing the dishes, right? No, you won't mind doing them. All right, y'all, I'm coming around. So now what we're going to do, I want to take some of this flour to check on the temperature of my oil. Oh, my oil is nice and hot. Okay? So what I'd like to do is, um, for those of you that don't know, it's something that I'd like to show everybody all the time because it really has always helped me throughout the years when cooking. When I check my oil to see if the oil is nice and hot, I take flour in my fingertips just like so. And I do like this. And when the flour hits the oil, if it sizzles right away, if it's, you know, like that, uh, your oil's nice and hot. But let's just say you took some flour, you put it in, and you watch the flour bowl go, go straight to the bottom, your oil ain't hot enough. Don't ever try to cook anything in oil that's not hot enough. Come on, y'all, and I'm going to show you. Come on, y'all, I'm going to show you. I'll turn the water off here in a minute. You may be able to hear that water going in the background, but I'm making some hot water. Okay, so watch what happens with my flour. Tell me, does it sizzle or not? Sizzle. Perfect. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. So now let's go ahead and get our chicken in. Okay, I'm just using my fingers. You see that sizzle? Gotta see it. If it don't happen, don't put another piece in. Just wait, <laughs> because let, let me tell you just what would happen if you were to try and um, put chicken in oil that's not hot enough. Well, what's going to happen? Well, your chicken will turn out mushy. It'll never get crispy, and it'll be a real funky texture, and it'll be real oily, right? So make sure your oil's nice and hot. Look at this. As you're doing this, um, I, I don't want you to go in with a fork, a knife, a spoon, any utensil bothering this chicken. The reason why is if you bother it right now, that beautiful crust that we worked so hard for to make, it'll come falling right off of the chicken and you'll have a crustless chicken pieces. <laughs> you don't want your chicken pieces to be crustless, right? So don't go in bothering them. You can wait until you have developed a hard crust onto them and then you can take like a spatula a spoon whatever you want to do move the pieces of chicken around to make sure that they're not sticking all right but right now don't bother 
Don't bother. Everything come falling off of it. And you say, where the heck did my crust go? It's because you was messing with it. <laughs> Shame on you. Don't mess with it. <laughs> so I may need to do two batches, even though I just used a little bit of chicken. But I might be able just to do one batch. But what I don't want you all to do is overfill your pan. If you overfill the pan, what's going to happen, everything's going to be crowded, right? And uh, the chicken will begin to steam in here. So you know how much chicken to put in there. Don't overcrowd it. I'm going to continue to put this in. I'll meet you guys on the other side of the counter. So I'm gonna, you always bring your water to a boil. Okay, 
okay, don't put it in the water. Um, don't put your rice in the water and it hadn't come up to a boil yet, okay? And make sure that you at least put this much water in. Can y'all see me? Can I see my hands? <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn this burner on. Perfect. Come, come in real quick. I want to show you all how quick and simply, simply, how quick and simple the chicken has begun to cook already. Right? Come on in. I'm excited. Oh, I'm all excited. Beautiful. Come on in, y'all. Look at that. You can literally see that we're getting some golden brown to it. Look at that. Oh, Gina. <laughs> Mildred, how you feeling today? I hope you're feeling good. Welcome back. Thank you for coming back in, Mildred. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, Gina. <laughs> Ooh, it's getting brown. It's getting brown and yours will too. Trust me when I tell you, you can do this. Now, let me tell y'all something, something you didn't know. Hold on y'all, hold on y'all. Something you just didn't know, but I'ma tell you. Hold on y'all, I'm just redoing my lip gloss here. I have to tell y'all, cause some of y'all be like, where'd she go, what's happening? <laughs> I'm just putting some lip gloss on. <laughs> Oh, so let me tell you, I, today, I did a video, Drew Moss is laughing, today I did a video for how to make homemade, hold on, hold on, wait till I come around to the camera, because I, I, need, I need to see how happy y'all are about this video I decided to put out this evening. Hold on. Now, the video that I decided to put out this evening is a dessert, and I'd love to know if y'all can guess. <laughs> That's what we'll do. Hold on. Okay. So tell me if you can guess. Oh, this spaghetti looks so good. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you, Ron, I'm telling you, you will enjoy the recipe. And honestly, if you want to put a little bit of sugar in it, you can, okay? Well, we, we ate that spaghetti. The spaghetti tastes just as good as regular spaghetti. It's all healthy, right? And that spaghetti was top notch. It'll stand up against the best of them. And if y'all don't know what Ron is talking about right now, he is talking about the spaghetti that I made on my new channel, Healthy Recipes with Gina, where there's all healthy recipes being made on that channel. Yesterday, the video posted, and everybody's enjoying that video. I tell you what, we enjoy that spaghetti. So now, let's talk about what we did today. What we did today, we made a dessert, and I'd love to know if somebody um, in the comment section can guess what dessert I made. I made it homemade and it's going to knock your socks off. The video will post today at 5.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So when we are off this live, you have to watch the video. You're going to be excited. The world's been asking me to make it and today I decided to make it. Let me look in the comments. Okay, it's not posted yet. Banana bread? No. Oh, purple up, you didn't watch it yet? Okay, you got finished watching it. Brownies, no. <laughs> Thank you, Valencia. Peach cobbler, no. Tiramisu, no. I'm shutting all y'all down. <laughs> not, 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 but let me say that word. They're comments. I'm shooting the comments down, YouTube. Just comments, that's all I'm shooting down, YouTube. Just comments only. Homemade ice cream, no. Key lime pie, no. Apple crisp, no. Apple pie, no. Apple dumplings, no. Bread pudding, no, no. <laughs> uh -huh. Do you want me just tell you? Do you want me just tell you? Somebody said bread pudding, uh, uh, banana, uh, banana pudding. Yo, I just made banana pudding on this channel the other day. 
Everybody is loving the recipe. When I made the banana pudding, homemade on this channel the other day, I turned around and made homemade whipped cream. <laughs> the homemade banana pudding, listen here, homemade vanilla pudding. That was so easy peasy to make. I just want to toot my horn a little bit. Toot, toot. Okay, so that was great. Let me tell you what it was. Today, I made homemade cheesecake. <laughs> cheesecake from scratch. It's no bake. And I tell you what. If you want a good cheesecake recipe, you don't want to be slaving in the stove all day or in the kitchen all day, I got the recipe for you. The recipe will post tonight, 5.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, wow, you love cheesecake. Okay, Angela, you're going to get to see it. You're going to get to see it. Y'all, there's fresh berries included. <laughs> Listen here, it's going to knock your socks off. Yum, cheesecake, the best, says Frankie. <laughs> okay, Nicole Stucco says, I love cheesecake. Yes, okay, okay, okay. And listen, if you have not seen the, um, the bread or the banana pudding that I did, check that out. If you haven't seen the sweet, y'all were asking me for sweet potato uh, cornbread. I made it. I, I made it. Did you watch it? I had a fun time making it, y'all. We've been getting down in this kitchen. Aha, uh -huh, Erica, it was. And I can't wait till you see the recipe. Okay, so come on in, y'all. I want us all to take a look. Let's get our rice going. Take a look in our pan and see what we got going on. Looks like we got some chicken. We need to flip over. <laughs> get my rice in. I'm all seasoned. Let me have that salt. I'm all seasoned my water. All right, my water for my rice is boiling. I'm just gonna put the rice down in there, but it looks like our chicken can stand to be turned. Oh my goodness, this is the chicken you know when you think Asian chicken, right? Look at it, look at it. Oh, ooh wee, look at that. Girl, you something else in that kitchen. Listen, tell the world about Jeannie Young, what I'm doing over here. I ain't playing when I get in this kitchen, y'all. That's why every time I walk around the counter, as soon as I get around the counter, it gets hot. Because I'm cooking up some hot recipes. I am. At least I think I am. <laughs> I think I am in my head. <laughs> oh, you watched it all. Okay. Great. Deborah says yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> Thank you all for the hearts going up, y'all. I love that. Keep them going. I love cheesecake, but I am trying to eat healthy and keep my weight down. Oh, yes, Shirley Clark. So you're going to totally love, love, love all of the recipes that I put over on the other channel. I have an amazing recipe coming up. Most likely, I'll put do a video for that channel on Monday. It's going to be something great. It's going to be something that someone has requested. Because what I'm doing for right now over there is um, I'm, as I see what the people are looking for, which is you all, what you have requested, I write it down on a to-do list and then I'm just going up the list, okay? Thank you, Karen Lloyd. Now back to the cheesecake, okay. All right, we got rice going, we got chicken going, it's getting nice, beautiful, and golden brown. And don't forget about our beautiful gravy here. This gravy, oh my goodness. Now, because I put some of the pulp in there, it's really up to you. If you have some pulp, let, let me just say it this way. If you have some of the orange pulp in here, you don't need to use the orange zest. But if you want to put orange zest in there, absolutely you can. Just make sure when you're zesting your orange that you don't use the white part, which is called the pip. The white part is kind of funky and kind of sour a little bit. It just has a weird taste. But the orange 
um, zesty part, the orange part that we know of, believe it or not, it has like an oil in it, okay? Um, so it will release even more orange flavor, okay? If that's what you're looking for. So if you want to zest in some orange zest, use a half of a medium to small orange. Throw it in there. It's going to really bump up that orange flavor, okay? All right, so you got me. I know you do. And then you have cornstarch slurry just set in here, okay? So I want to grab the pan that we're going to be using to put, to cook our orange sauce in. And then when the chicken is done, we're just going to toss that chicken in that beautiful sauce, okay? Thank you, D. Lindman. Thank you, D. Lindman. Thank you for coming in and joining. Tim Hortons is the best. My goodness. I ain't had Tim Hortons and I don't know how long. My goodness. Oh, you do, Heidi. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you for the hearts. I see the hearts going up. Who's putting those hearts in there? <laughs> thank you. Shirley Clark says, yes, Lynette, absolutely. Thank you. All right, let me look and see what I got going on with the comments here. Okay, let me refresh because I'm missing people's comments. Okay, fix the comments because I don't see any comments. Okay, Jay says hello. Welcome in, Jay. Roland Ennis, the best world's cook. Thank you. Thank you, Roland. You make sure that that thing, the messages, because when you're zooming in or you're doing something, you're getting rid of my messages. So make sure that you click that button so I can see all the messages, okay? Okay. We need... Thank you, Ron. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Panda Express, who? <laughs> thank you. I, I like that. Thank you. So come on in, y'all. Let's take another peek in at this gorgeous chicken that we got going on. Keep in mind, if you have not, or, you know, you forgot about rice, go ahead and get it on while we still have yet another batch of chicken to cook. I want to show you something. Come close. Is that what you know of when you think lemon chicken? You think Warsu guy. You, you think um, uh, Asian chicken. <laughs> That's what it looks like before it gets coated in the beautiful sauces that they make, right? And um, y'all, I study recipes, especially if it's like another culture's recipe and I don't know how to cook it, I will study it until I know, I'm going to fix it. I will study it until I know how to make it to where it tastes all thin. Other than that, I will make it, I will make it, and I can swear up and down, y'all, that my Warsaw guy is the best Warsaw guy. It's so good, and you can make it too, you can make it to the young stuff. But they, they make a lemon chicken, too. Really, they do. Now, listen. What I was trying to say is that's what the chicken most of the time looks like before it gets tossed in whatever sauce. The General So sauce. The Warsu Guy sauce. The sesame chicken sauce. That's what it looks like before, you know, ah, uh -huh, yes, yes. This recipe going to turn your taste buds out. I want to have you grab me a pan, okay? Um, not too big. I, I want it low enough to where they can see down into the pan. Okay, because I'm going to put the sauce in there. I'm going to be putting the chicken in and kind of shaking everything around, okay? I'm going to get the plate that we're going to uh, use to plate up our food. We're going to use this. I usually put rice here and the food here. That's our 14-year-old, y'all. He's helping to reach a pan for me. 
chitlin recipe. I'm going to do it. I don't know how I'm going to do it because where I live, I don't know where they sell chitlins. I don't know where they sell hog malts, but I'm going to make it a point to figure out where I could find them so I can do this video for you. I got to make an updated one because I'm really not happy with that recipe only for one reason, not because of the taste, because I cut the chitlins way too small. When I think chitlins, I want like big pieces, right? Big pieces of hog malt. I just cut the chitlins too small, and so therefore, I want to do it over. And hopefully I can find them one day so I can do that. Okay, Drew says, I had a question. Drew, what's your question? Valencia says, hi, Dakota. Hey, Valencia. Walmart sells them. Okay. Okay. Okay, what was Drew's question? I'm looking. I don't see it yet. Thank you for the hearts, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It means, it means a lot to me. Thank you. Gene, you're just saying, um, what's everybody talking about? That's why I'm assuming you're saying that with the question marks. Okay, my rice is doing good. Chicken is doing beautiful, and we still have yet a, oh y'all, it's popping. We still have yet another batch to cook, but it's a very small batch. Drew, your question? Okay, Chick-fil-A had a lemon chicken Caesar salad. Can you possibly try to make that? Sure. I'll write it down. Um, chicken Caesar salad. Chicken lemon Caesar salad. I'll write that down too, okay? Oh, none for you. Helen says no. Uh-uh. Have you ever done chicken crackling? Um, I have fried chicken skin. I don't know if that's what you're talking about. I have made chicken skin crisp it up in the oven and or have fried it and then you chop it up and put it on top of a salad. I have done that. I don't know if that's what you're talking about though. Lottie, hello. Turn your music down. It's delicious. It is, Derek. It's so good. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, we're getting some great color onto our chicken. I'm going to be taking this chicken out. Did, did they just get to see this a few minutes ago? Was it this color? You sure? Okay. We're going to be taking this chicken out and we're going to put the rest of our chicken in. So. Let me just show you what a few of these pieces look like. Now, I know the smaller pieces, they're not done, so I'm going to let them stay in there and cook until they're done. And honestly, you'll know when it's done. To use a thermometer, 165 is what you are looking for. Okay? My other chicken is going in, but I do, I, I want to show you. I just want to show you. Come in on that. Oh, my goodness, girl. Ooh, listen here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, chicken's going good. Let's take that. Listen. I ain't going to say it. I ain't going to say it. Some of y'all already know what I'm saying. <laughs> I think some of y'all can read my mind sometimes. <laughs> my rice is done. Okay, I'm going to put this last batch of chicken in. As I put the last batch of chicken in, I'm going to turn around and come over, make the sauce, and dinner will be served. Okay? So I'm going to take my oil off of the burner. 
take it off the burner until you get it all in there. All right, everything's cooking up beautifully. Gorgeous. Be careful as you're lowering your chicken into the oil. This is an easy peasy recipe. It is beating up style and you're going to love it. Hot dog. Back up to the burner. Keep a good eye on it. If at any time you feel like, let me wash my hands, if you feel like you need to turn the burner down, go ahead and turn it down. Because you don't want to burn it, okay? And that's what I just had to do. I just had to turn it down because once you take that chicken out, that oil just yanks up to, you know, it just, it just gets hot. So I turned the burner down to low, but yet it's still going to be cooking and it's going to do a good job cooking on low because our oil is so hot. But at some point, I will have to go back in and turn the heat back up, okay? Let's get this rice off the burner. Now, you just cut the bag of rice open, right? And you just put it back into your pan. Okay, so that's how, that's how the rice is done. Hold on, y'all. I'm coming. with it because that's what I love. I love the hog rolls. And if I can't have it with the chitlins, then I don't want it, you know? Some people's like, ooh, just give me the hot sauce on it. See, how I like to eat mine is with hot sauce, vinegar over white rice. Oh my goodness. This rice is beautiful. Alright? I moved it because um, I didn't want to get the steam from the rice into the camera. Okay, so how about we think about doing our sauce? Okay? Bring your sauce into the equation. Okay? Turn your burner on. Come on, y'all. Follow me, follow me. All right, stir this and make sure you ain't got no residual sugar in the bottom. Okay, if you do, scrape it out. And like I said, if at any time you want it a little bit sweeter, Put some more sugar in. Okay? See, there's a piece of orange right there. And that piece of orange, I don't mind it being in there. It's great, great flavor. Just trust me. So, what we need to do is we are going to uh, heat that sauce up. After our sauce gets nice and heated, then that's the perfect time to put excuse me, your cornstarch slurry on, it will thicken and the chicken will be added to the sauce. Or, if you're the family that says, I, I, Gina, do we have to coat the chicken in it? You don't have to. Because some of your family members might want just the plain chicken, right? They might. So, if that's the situation where you leave the chicken plain like that, and then you can take the sauce, put it in something like this, and they can just, you know, put it on their chicken themselves. Okay, so it's up to you. You are so happy you chose this recipe. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Brenda, and, but I'd like to know when you make it. Let me know when you make it. That, that's all I want to know. Let me know when you make it, and, and then let me know what you think about the recipe. Mmm. That water is good. I must really need some water because um, I'm enjoying my water like never before. I must need it. All right, so good. as we, yeah, as we uh, turn around and put our cornstarch slurry in, go ahead and re-stir it. The purpose for doing it is because that corn starch will be, it's going to be sticking at the bottom of your bowl. Oh, you know, at your bowl or your cup, whatever you're using. Let's get this nice and warm. Okay? I want to bring the chicken back into the equation. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, wait. I tell you what, I want to eat that. I want to eat a piece of it right now. I want to take this and just dip it right there. But, but I can, I'll just have to wait. What, what is Charlene Bell saying? Chicken 
Dina. Thank you, Christy. Oh, look at that. My goodness, Dina. I know, I know Nicole. Thank you. Nicole, you should try it. Nicole, you should definitely try it. So now, y'all let me know how you want to do this. Do y'all want me to put my sauce into the measuring cup? And then we can dip it. Or do you want me to toss my chicken into the orange sauce? Whatever you want me to do, I'm willing to do. I kind of feel like I should show you all the chicken, how it should be presented, which is tossed in the sauce. <laughs> that sounds kind of funny. But yeah, I, I think that's how I should present it. Half and half, Gina, says Christopher. Oh, okay. A lot of people saying toss, toss it. Oh, look at that chicken. Thank you, K Coffee. <laughs> yes. So, y'all, I decided I wanted to make it nice and pretty for you. Anytime I'm making something, I want to do my best to make it pretty. And uh, this right here is sesame seeds. I'm going to throw just a little bit on the top uh, just to make it pretty. Now, this has came up to a boil. That's what I'm looking for. Let's grab a whisk. If I can find one, I know there's a whisk somewhere nearby. Here we go. I want to put in my cornstarch slurry. I still got to check in on this chicken here. We got a lot of stuff still kind of going on a little bit. Let me check my chicken. And then what we're going to do is we're going to thicken up our sauce. Just like so. All the chicken and this chicken We'll get done quickly, let me tell you why. It's going to get done quickly because there's hardly any chicken in the pan. You, you know what I'm saying? There's not a lot of chicken in that pan. So now take a look at the beautiful sauce. It came up to a boil and I am so happy right now. Okay? So now cornstarch slowly stir it before you put it in. Check me out, check me out, check me out if you will. Now the color is going to change right now. But no worries, guess what? Because the color will deepen up as the cornstarch cooks, okay? So just don't, just promise me you won't worry about that. Let that be a last worry, okay? Look at that, we got it all in there right before our own eyes. It's gonna thicken up. Oh, you can smell, tell me if you can smell the orange. Can you smell the orange? I'm talking to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm talking to him. You can smell the orange? Yeah, I can yes, smell it. I can smell it, y'all. Watch it get ready to thicken up. I, I gotta taste it, y'all. I have to. Mm-hmm. It's okay, I'm gonna wash my hands, y'all. Mmm. That's an orange sauce for you that you won't forget. Easy peasy, quick, simple. Right? Oh man, how exciting. Now, let's just say, for some odd reason, that, let's just say, for some reason, yours doesn't thicken up. Well, you're going to take a little tiny bit more cornstarch, mix it with some water, throw it in here, and after that, what do you say? And after that, it will definitely thicken up, okay? All right, how about it? Oh, it's getting there, it's getting thick. All right, we got rice, where's the rice? We got rice. All right, yep, I just have to. I know, I know, I can't, I can't stop myself from tasting this again. I have to. Come in so you can, so they can see how thick it's gotten. It's almost like a gravy. But it's orange glazy sauce. <laughs> Ooh, we ain't gonna taste that again. Let me make sure I'm happy with the seasoning. Because if I'm not happy, I might put a little bit more sugar. Let me see, let me see. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Yo. Mm. Turn the burner off. It's done. I'm gonna move, move it off the burner. <laughs> I can just drink that whole, I can drink that whole pan. Drink it right off of a flip flop, it'll be good. All right, so now let me check on the chicken. Oh, okay. So now let's go ahead. We're going to put rice on 
this side, orange chicken on this side. Turn the burner off, put the chicken in and toss. <laughs> I gotta get the orange because I want to make that orange, you know what I want to do, I want to make an orange garnish. You're looking for this. <laughs> That's it. Mm. It tastes good. All right, let's get the rice on here. The burner's off. The burner is off. We need rice. just to make it, uh, you know, presentable. Do that. Do what you can to make things pretty. We can always use uh, parsley flakes, uh, green onions that's going to make things look pretty, you know. <laughs> Ooh, if you ain't never been to Panda Express, don't worry about it. <laughs> make it this way. My goodness. Okay. And some of you all said leave some chicken lane. I did. I did. I did it for you. Mm. I had to lick my fingers, y'all. Relax. Okay, look at this. Come on. Oh! Uh. <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm all excited because I love this recipe. All right, so now let's grab the chicken out that's done. I'm going to say an amazing prayer, and guess what? You're going to get that first bite. You are. You're going to get to taste this with me. Socks off, Robert. Robert, yes. Mary Jane. Mary Jane is totally laughing. Christopher said, oh, my goodness, Nina. Hey, listen, we're really cooking over here, y'all. I didn't come to play no games with anybody. I didn't come to play games with this chicken. I didn't. I came to get down in this kitchen, and I feel like that's what we did. And if you cooked along with me, you got down in your kitchen too. So we do have the chicken. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take out the pieces that's done. If there's pieces in there, they just ain't done, don't you take them out. Okay, we got a few more minutes. We're going to say a prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you on today. Thank you for my extended family here that's in uh, my live chat. Thank you, Lord, for my subscribers. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for peace of mind. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. I pray for every single person in this chat. I pray that no weapons formed against any of us shall prosper in the name of Jesus. We pray that prosperity and abundance and favor is up on us. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper in the name of Jesus. We bind the devil and all his evil friends away from us in Jesus Christ's name. Devil, you stand no chance. Devil, you have no authority in Jesus Christ's name. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, peace, and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for the strength the courage, the will, the wisdom, the love. Thank you, Lord, for getting us all through hard times. Thank you, Jesus, for healing somebody today. 
We'd like to pray for all the homeless and starving that they're able to get some type of meal and some type of shelter. Lord, we pray for our enemies. We pray that you bless over them and take care of them in Jesus Christ's name. Heavenly Father, you hold the hearts of all kings and authorities. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Let's enjoy this meal. Let's enjoy this meal. Get your orange out. Make it nice and fancy. It's dinner time. <laughs> Watch this. Here's what I'm going to do with the orange. It is, it's quick. It's simple. We got an orange, right? We have an orange. We're going to make a slice. Okay. This is just if you want to make something fancy for your family and friends, okay? Look, look, look at that. Just to let them know what you're serving to them. That's all you need. And whether it's a lemon or an orange, put a little bit of parsley flakes or green onions on it just to make it nice and pretty and beautiful to the eye when people look at your food. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer. I know there's somebody out there that's ready to eat. Let me know what y'all think about this recipe. My holy king, welcome back again. Look, what y'all think? Somebody, anybody in the comment section, let me know. Let me know how you feel about this recipe. Was it easy? Was it quick and simple? Was it hard? I just love to hear from you how you feel this was. Thank you, Kate Coffee. Mary Jane says, yum. I would like steamed broccoli with mine. Okay, absolutely you can. Nice and pretty. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Helen. Guest room ready because I'm coming, Gina. <laughs> Get the guest room ready. <laughs> Five-star recipe. Thank you. Where's the crab ragoons? You know I got the recipe for it, Derek. You know I do. Oh, indeed, that looks amazing. Looks beautiful. Thank you all. Thank you all. And once again, um, thank you, Lord, for hearing this blessing, this prayer today. So if y'all don't mind, I'm going to come around. I'm going to make a plate. Y'all can eat with me, and then we can just chit-chat for a little bit. How are the fishes? Ocean, they're doing great. Thank you for asking. Um, on the last live, I showed the fishes. Um, if I think about it today, maybe I'll show you. Okay? So let's grab a plate. Thank you, Linda. Look, it gets a five star. Thank you. This is great. Um, now, I'm not going to grab a whole bunch. And the reason why is because I don't need a whole bunch, right? So I know how much I need to eat. You know? But I'm watching my waistline a little bit so I ain't gonna eat a whole bunch. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Make sure your burners are turned off and clean up as you go. It's really gonna help you in the long run. Can you turn that light away from me, please? Ha -ha! Come on, orange. 
Williams chicken, Gina Young style. You, you better make you some. Oh, y'all, the sauce is so delicious. The sauce is so, I, I mean, I just lick my fingers. Mm, mm, mm. Get you some. Look, I got the, I got this kind without coated and I got orange sauce coated. You can put more sauce, there's sauce in the pan. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all, come on, let's do it. We're, we're gonna do it. Look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. There's rice on there. Yeah. Yum, yum, yummy. I'm going in. Did you put this in the rice? Mm. You can put it on the rice too, mm. on everything. Listen. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I got a slide spoon. Give me another spoon. I see, I see. It's fine. I got it. I got it. I got it. Twenty dollars a plate, Gina. <laughs> hey, that's even better. I'm at the door. Open up, please. <laughs> you at the door, Rhonda? <laughs> Thank you, Seagate. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. So what happens when you decide to use that batter? Gina, I'm ready to fix my plate. <laughs> when you decide to make this batter for this, did you wash your hands, Dakota? The batter is so crispy. The sauce does not make this batter soggy. It remains nice and crispy. The chicken is juicy, it's gorgeous, it's flavorful because we seasoned the chicken using the salt, pepper, and the garlic powder, you know. And look how it's glit. Oh, ha, ha. Mm -mm. Kathy said, I'll buy it. <laughs> I'm at your door for the pickup. <laughs> You know, it's so funny because although this is orange chicken, it tastes like, mm -hmm. oh, sweetie. Mm. Thank you, baby. Thank you, I love you, you're welcome. Although this is orange chicken, guess what? It tastes like um, sesame chicken too. Oh, y'all, I am so pleased with this. Mm, look at the inside, just look at the, Mm. Mm -mm. I hope y'all can hear that crispiness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I ain't even got to the rice. I really don't need the rice, but we're going to eat a little bit. Mm. So see, I was watching my husband make his plate. He put sauce on his rice. And I'm sure, my, 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 says Denise, I'm sure a lot of you that just love saucy stuff or gravy sauce or glaze, you're probably going to put the, gla the extra glaze on your gravy, right? Oh, thank you, Derek. Mildred says, Gina, did you read what I emailed you about the shark? Yes, I read it. It's so interesting. And... I've heard something about that happening with strawberries before. So I believe that article that you sent me, Mildred, is true. It's like a true fact. Mm, 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 mm. Yo, listen, let me fix this camera here. Hold on, I gotta, hold on. I gotta fix this so it'll stand up and y'all can see my face. Dakota had this camera sitting down on the ground. Um, it's so good, y'all. It's so good. Thank you, Derek. I appreciate that. You put the sauce on your rice as well. Yep, yep. Mm, 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 mm. Listen. Look at the inside. Look at the inside. Oh, <laughs> That's good. Gina, I'm sending my drone over there. 
With $25, the extra five is for the, for the tip. <laughs> Just seal the plate up and tape it to the drone. <laughs> I'll take it from there. <laughs> That's so funny. Pretty soon people are going to really be able to do that. <laughs> I, I'm so serious. The way things is going right now. Mm, yo, yo. Somebody out there don't understand how delicious this is. Mmm. Mmm. I know what I was going to say. Let me say it before I forget. Mm. You'll have the birds fighting. That's funny. A lot of people ask me, they say, Gina, what's your favorite dish? Oh, thank you, Frankie. What's your favorite dish that you like to make? Or, no, no, what's your favorite foods? Guess what I always say? Chinese. Because when I make Chinese, it's like it runs through my veins. Like, I, I make it so authentic. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. You would just think it was... You just wouldn't know. <laughs> you wouldn't know. It was homemade. Oh my goodness, it's so good. It tastes better than the restaurant, y'all. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, as you say, ooh wee, <laughs> what'd you say? The paint looks good. Yes, indeed. Peace space. Thank you. Marva, I love to watch your show. You are so happy when you're in the kitchen you need to cook beans sometimes and vegetables too okay so christopher says all right now say that <laughs> mary jane says with cheesecake you can slice it up different times yes you can mary jane mary jane be sure to watch the video fried chicken oh y'all mm, mm, mm. mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. This is so flavorful. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Good. Mm, mm -hmm. Did you use darker white meat nearly? Okay, nearly I use the dark meat, but like I said, you can definitely use white meat if you like. And then just follow my every step that I make, and it will be delicious. So beautiful. I'm going to take a piece of this chicken that did not get coated. Look at it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I made that's for you, Mim. <laughs> Mim Z so that that piece right there is for me. Um a couple years back. Don't quote me on this, y'all. I think I made um, pad thai. I love pad thai. I don't know if y'all have tasted it before, but I made it. And, and a lot of the ingredients I had to find off of Amazon. So I made the recipe, and I just couldn't believe how authentic it tastes. It was so good. Oh. Okay. Okay, let me go back to Erica. No, they didn't, Ocean Soul. Okay. Let me find you, Erica. Uh oh, Miss Karen says, I just saw the picture of the cheesecake pop up on my screen. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what time is it? It must be. Let's see. The video must have just posted. Oh, it did. 
It did. It posted. What is Pad Thai? Ooh, Seagate. I'm going to tell you. I'm looking for Erica's question first. Erica, if you can um, respond and ask me that question again. Pad Thai. Never had it. What is it? Okay. Let me tell you after I take a bite. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. It tastes so good. Okay. Pad Thai has a rice noodle. And a rice noodle, it's kind of like a clear looking noodle, but it's delicious. It's flat. What you do with the rice noodles is you'll literally set before cooking them. You'll set the rice noodles. They come dry in the bag in the Asian market or on Amazon. You put the rice noodle into boiling water and just let it set for about 10 minutes, right? And that begins the cooking process. But meanwhile, you have to make a sauce. And the sauce consists of tamarind, which tamarind has a really um, like kind of sour taste to it, right? So you're going to soak some tamarind and you're going to make a sauce. Um, you're also going to use shrimp, green onions, um, sugar you put sugar in with the tamarind because it balances out the tanginess of the tamarind so it's like kind of sweet and sour kind of sweet sour a little tiny bit salty but you serve it with crushed peanuts and bean sprouts and it is one of my favorite i mean i have a lot of favorite asian dishes but pad thai is one of my favorite and then you use tofu you turn around and you cut the tofu and you fry it and it tastes like it has a fried egg in the inside. Nah. Y'all, listen, I made it one day and I surprised myself. So if you're ever at an Asian, you know, uh, restaurant, try the Pad Thai. You'll definitely love it. And if you like shrimp, get the shrimp. But if you don't, you can order it chicken, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. What's the difference between using sea salt and a plain regular salt? You're going to have to look that up on Google because I don't want to give you the wrong. But I think, I'm pretty sure, let's just say I think, because I don't want to lead nobody in the wrong direction. I believe that sea salt is a little bit healthier than regular salt. But I do suggest that you go to Google so you can find out the correct, okay? Ever poached an egg? Yes, I've done it here on my channel. In 2017, I poached eggs. I would love to do that again and make a sauce to go on top of it and put it on top of an England, English muffin. It would be so much fun to do. Okay, yep, Derek says the sea salt is better is what he's hearing. Yeah, see, a lot of people are saying the sea salt. So I always use sea salt and pink Himalayan salt, I hear is very good for you too. Every once in a while on this channel, you'll see me using pink Himalayan salt. Just to make you feel a little bit better, you know. Mmm. Hold on, let me see. I don't use seasoning salt, my holy king. I had enough seasoning salt when I was younger. When I got older, old enough to cook on my own, my own recipes, I said, the heck with the seasoning salt. I, I just feel like it's, it's not a taste that I like. I feel like we used it a lot when I was younger. <clears throat> Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me cough, guys. Hold on. <coughs> yeah. 
excuse me. YouTube has a lot of good videos on the best salts and oils to use. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, I'm sure you can find anything about the salts and the best oils to use for what <coughs> excuse me for what type of cooking mm -hmm. oh yeah so you can get down to the real science when you think about the iodine and stuff like that for <coughs> <coughs> let me get some water y'all can you hand me my water please thank you okay i love you be careful honey <laughs> Baby, you look so cute. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> I, I was, I think I was just checking you out. Did y'all see my eyes, y'all? I think I was just checking him out. I'm still, I'm still checking you out after twenty something years. You still checking me out? Okay. Okay, so we're in good standing, right? <laughs> you said, watch out. <laughs> huh? Mm -mm. Where's the dogs? Go make sure they're in there. Check for my babies, right? Check for them babies first. Your eye, he said your eyes was a rolling. <laughs> I was. I was looking at him up and down. <laughs> Alyssa said, I saw your eyes. <laughs> They're in there. <laughs> you have pink salt in your kitchen. I'm in the mood. <laughs> That's a good song. <laughs> My holy king, that's funny. <laughs> you better catch him. <laughs> I already called him, y'all. 20 something years ago. 1997. Mm, 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 mm. That's all I'm left with. And you see, like, a lot of people ask me, like, Gina, so, you know, you're diabetic. How do you do it? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll lock you out with my phone. Just close the door and I'll lock it. Hold on, y'all. Let me lock the front door. Hold on, y'all. Lock. Front door. Okay. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, so many people ask me. Y'all really do. They ask me this. They say, Gina. Uh, okay, so you're diabetic. What about the rice? You see, I just tasted about maybe two, three spoons of rice, but I ate all my chicken. And so that's what I mean when I turn around and tell y'all that I'm watching my waistline and I know the medium of how much of things I want to eat and how much I know I should have. You know, so if there's bread, and I know I shouldn't have bread, right? At least it's not good for me. If it's not a healthy bread, then I'm going to make the decision to eat no bread, maybe a half a piece of bread maybe one piece of bread versus two and just really making a good decision you know and so my good decision today was to not eat all that rice and i don't feel bad you know for not eating the rice because i didn't need it anyways you know what i'm saying hello everybody i'm finally in why'd you come back all right i'm tired i'm tired of you i'm talking to my son y'all he want me lock the door again. He gonna drive me nuts. Lock front door. Right. 
to see life's beauty says right gina but it's so true it's so true and a lot of people say how so what do you what do you do because you be making rice and you be making potatoes and stuff like that i make it but it doesn't mean that i eat it do you understand what i'm saying i make it i might eat it right and when I eat it, I make sure that I eat a little bit, just enough to get satisfied, but I don't need a whole bowl of rice. Like I, like I used to eat years ago, I would have a whole bowl of rice and be just jamming down on it, right? And while my sugar was just climbing up, saying, uh-huh, I got you, right? So at some point in your life, you've got to make a good decision. Do I need to pop? If you don't need to pop, then don't drink it. But it's hard. Get you some unsweetened iced tea. <laughs> you know, some diet iced tea or something, you know? All right, let me see what we got going on. Do you end up giving away a lot of food or do we eat it? Now, we give away food to family, friends, and loved ones and stuff like that. But for the most point, we'll eat it. And also, we freeze a lot of stuff. Okay, so we have some deep freezers. And... We'll freeze things um, or just put it in the regular refrigerator so we can come back for it at a later date. Um, we, we, so we don't, a lot of people think we throw a lot of stuff away. We don't throw a lot away. So like that chicken, there's still some chicken left. Um, <clears throat> Dakota hasn't ate, but my husband ate. So there's enough for Dakota to eat and for maybe somebody to eat again. I feel like this recipe will be gone for sure. But uh, when I'm cooking anymore, years ago, I used to cook a whole lot, right? But I've learned to make just enough so I don't go over too much because going over too much then, you know, like when the pandemic was rolling around, I really didn't want to take it uh, a couple years back I didn't want to take it to my neighbors because I don't want them to be weary of me you, you know of us being sick and we're bringing food over do you know what I mean so uh, I've learned throughout the years to not make so much don't make so much homemade oh homemade peach oh, let me see uh, you love leftovers for dinner okay that's great yeah, got to try your homemade peach mango tea. That sounds good. Gee, you just, I cooked beef and broccoli last night. It was so good. Can you show us how to make chicken and broccoli? The chicken and broccoli, sure I can. Uh, but I do want to assure you that the chicken and broccoli would um, be exactly like I made my beef and broccoli the other day. Did I make beef and broccoli the other day for y'all? I feel like I did. Let me look. It would be the exact same recipe just using chicken. Like everything down to a T. Let me see, down to the science. Let's see. I feel like I made beef and broccoli. Let's see. I make so many recipes, I don't know what I done made. There we go. Seven days ago, I did beef and broccoli. If you wanted to turn that into chicken and broccoli, you're going to do the exact same thing that I did when I made the beef and broccoli, just only using chicken um, breast. I would suggest using a chicken breast versus the chicken thigh. But, uh, yeah. Well, let me see. Let me see. Oh, yeah. The homemade cheesecake. It's posted. You guys are all excited. Teriyaki on a stick could be something to cook on a live too. Oh, that sounds interesting. I have, um, lasagna does not last long in your household. Uh, good night, Mildred. You going to bed? Mildred, are you going to bed? <laughs> See you later. Have a good evening, Mildred, says um, Derek Eads. Mildred, you have a great night, okay? You made the linguine pasta the other day, couldn't I? And 
Angela, please. Angela, tell the people in the background. Hold on. Hold on. Angela, can you please say it again for the people in the back? But tell them what you made. Was it the linguine pasta salad? Gina, no bed, leaving with your daughters. Okay, listen, tell your daughters I said hello. Kiss your grandbaby for me and uh, have a good night, okay? Y'all be safe. That linguine pasta salad was fire. I cannot stop eating it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So let's talk about the story <clears throat> that I know. I, I, at least I, I, I think, look at my eyes. Why am I doing this? I think that this is the story. So my grandma used to work <clears throat> for an Italian lady. <clears throat> I, you know, when she was younger. And my grandma had uh, kids, you know, babies and kids. And the lady that she worked for had babies, like little babies and kids or maybe a baby, right? And I think my grandma had a baby and kids. <clears throat> but so my grandma worked for her and then linguine pasta salad is what um, they had requested that my grandma would make. I think this is a story. I, I, when I say I think this is a story, I'm doing my eyes like this because I think this is a story. But um, so when my grandma was living, if we had a holiday or something, everybody was wanting grandma's linguine pasta salad. Well, I was watching one day trying to figure out how she made it and how she made it taste so good, right? So I mimic that recipe and I love it. Oh my goodness, I love it. But my grandma said um, that working for this lady was absolutely amazing, right? And they became really good friends. But anyways, so my grandma had babies, and my grandma would breastfeed the lady's babies, or baby, because my grandma had a baby of her own that she was breastfeeding. And back in the days, that's what they could do. You know, they could do that back in the days. And it's really totally understandable for back in the days, right? And I just think, and now today's world, that would be totally nuts. I think, I think the situation nowadays, somebody be ready to knock somebody out for feeding your baby that way, you know. But um, I, I remember my grandma telling me that story and I thought, oh man, that's like so interesting, right? <laughs> Isn't that interesting? It's an interesting story, right? What are you, you said time? What's the person saying time? I, Alyssa, it is very interesting, right? So I just wonder what the year was, you know? Yeah, Nicole said, yeah, that's not for today. No, because like I said, in today's world, cause you know, you got some cuckoo nut crazy people out there that, uh, like you could only imagine different, you know, how things could go wrong in today's world with that. But it was just like completely innocent and um, like understandable for those days. Yo, my, my hair is nice and curly today. That don't mean tomorrow it's gonna be curly. <laughs> Maybe it's not humid outside because when it's humid is when y'all see me with the hat on and I got my hat pulled way down. Everything was different back in the days, absolutely. Oh, you do, you missed the 2000s, okay. Derek Eads back in the building. Yeah, purple love, yeah, I told my husband that story. He was like, oh man, you know, like, wow. And I think a lot of people um, think wow when they hear that story. You're in the van with Alexa, hello? <laughs> Food 
definitely hit different back then. Oh, man. Listen, y'all, I just have to be honest. I'm just going to put this out there. When is the last time y'all had a good steak? I'm talking, you heard of somebody, somebody builder. What? I heard some bodybuilders. Oh, is that right, <laughs> Angela? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Do not go there. I don't even know what I was going to say. What the heck is Ron talking about? So I don't go there. I don't even know what I was going to say, y'all. <laughs> what the heck is he talking about? Who are you talking about? <laughs> Drew said, Angela, is it on sale? I, yo, I'm lost in the sauce. Let me fix my comments so I can see what's happening. I don't think I'm up to date with these comments. Hold on, y'all. I, I got to fix this. Okay, let's see. Filet mignon. Oh, here's what I was going to say about the steak. Just reminded me. Uh, filet mignon was the last steak I had. It was great. Is that right? Okay, so let's talk about this on a serious note. I feel, uh, Angela's laughing. I feel like I ain't had a good steak. When I talk about a good steak, I'm talking about a steak that tastes like steak. Y'all, I'm talking about a steak that tastes like steak. I ain't had one in a long time, even though I make great steaks, and you may make great steaks as well. But does it taste like the steak that we remember when we were younger? Somebody, be honest. I'm so serious. Be honest with me. Tell me what you think about today's steaks. Okay, my Holy King says Omaha steaks. You heard her terrible. Not a steak eater. Oh, Renee's not a steak. Nothing tastes the same. What? Yeah, I know. Nothing tastes the same. See, Alyssa said me neither. The meat is, I know, Ron, what is that about? You said the meat has no flavor. The steaks taste different. They do. They do. Not many things taste the same. I know. And it's so interesting to know. Like when we're eating whatever we are eating, is it real? Um, or is it the, the meat that has been made? And what I mean by made, not made from animal products. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm saying this right to where you all can understand. But um, it's interesting to know. Because it's been so long since I had a good steak, y'all. I'm telling you. Somebody said, I wonder. Do you know I love your beef? Oh, yeah. You love the beef oxtails? Mm-hmm. Oh, is that right? See, Life's Beauty says pro over pro produce or produced. I know. Ron, I seen that on the news and I thought, are you kidding me? What do you mean, glue? What do you mean glow? That's nuts. Oh man, it's y'all. It, mm, mm, mm. Let's change the story. Let's just change the whole topic. Okay, okay. So uh, Zadi says, well, they created a laboratory. Oh, I know. What the heck? It is Christopher. Seriously. $15. Gina Young can make anything taste good in the van with Alexa. Oh, when he was saying in the van with Alexa, I had I thought he was in his van saying he talking to Alexa. <laughs> but now I see your name. Welcome in the chat in the van with Alexa. I'm so glad to have you in here joining us. <laughs> I, I was just thinking he was in his van talking to Alexa, and I thought, oh, okay. <laughs> it's a mixture. Let me see. Oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you, Deborah Brown. Thank you so much. I worked so hard to get the curl in there, y'all. Uh, but thank you. 
It doesn't, when you see me with the hat and in my, in my, uh, what you call it on, like a bandana, that's when I'm having a day where my hair will not work for me. And it's just like poof. You know, I can't get no curl. I'm just getting all poof. <laughs> but today is, is a good day and I'm so thankful. <laughs> I know, Denise. <laughs> See, life said, that's not right. Drew, you hear me? Drew, do you hear me? <laughs> See, life's beauty. I'm trying to tell people to start eating. Oh, let's see. I'm trying to read your message. Oh, is that right, my holy king? Marinated meats are done. Oh, is that right? Them ribeye. No, Raymond. Those ribeyes are not cheap. They're very expensive. Yes, they are. <laughs> what hat? <laughs> What hat are you talking about? Gina was hood with that hat. I don't know what hat you're talking about. I always have a hat on. <laughs> what are you talking about, Rhonda? Deborah said, it's been years since I had a good steak. <laughs> Thank you, Christy. <laughs> Gina, that calzone was a big hit with my family yesterday. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. That's great. My husband and um, our son. They love the calzones. And like I said, what's great about that calzone is um, you can heat it up and it tastes just as good as it came out the oven. Tomahawk steaks. Okay, okay. So are you saying I need to try it? Oh, you just playing. <laughs> you said you just playing. I was like, what hat? I always have a lot of hats on. But sometimes I will turn a hat. It all depends on how I'm feeling. I'll put that hat on and turn it around backwards, and they better look out. It's like, I'm just kidding. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. <laughs> Kizzy Baby, how you doing? So is it Kizzy or Kizzy Baby? Let me see. Kizzy baby. Okay, welcome in. Welcome back in. Thank you for coming back in and joining us. I usually say Kizzy, but I just wanted to make sure. Was it Kizzy or Kizzy baby? Okay. Let me ask y'all something. So, so let me ask y'all something. So, uh, when you are, um, uh, uh, why can't I think of the word? Come on, Lord, give me the word. Um, oh, when you all are fasting, okay? Let's just say you're fasting. What do you all consider fasting? Tell me I'm good. Did Gina yet? Oh, 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 okay, Kizzy. Um, what do you all consider fasting? Let me know what you think fasting is or how, how 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 to fast what you think fasting is can you use water instead of orange juice you can uh, but it won't be orange chicken when i fast i only have plain water okay so there's the first one Oh, you think it's water just most of the day. So I'm going to tell you what I think, okay? This is my opinion. And then y'all tell me if you say, you can say, Gina, you're wrong. And if you say I'm wrong, then I'm going to say you're wrong. <laughs> okay, so, so listen. Here, I'm just being silly right now. But let me tell you what I think. Okay, so Renee says no food or water. No eating, no food. Okay, okay. Half a day fast. Okay, fasting for me is celery and juice. You see how everybody in here has something a little different. But I do see that there's a lot of people in here saying that it is food-based. This is what I think, and I'd love to know your opinion. If, if you think I'm wrong, then tell me. It's okay. Like, it's not going to be the end of my day. Um, 
I think that when you fast, you decide how you want to fast, what you want to do. Some people, let's just use some people, for example, I don't know who some people is, just as, let's just say this person, right? This person may fast and say, um, okay, so when I do my fast, I'm going to, uh, uh, what can I say? Not smoke cigarettes for a week. I'm going to be reading my Bible every single, this person, let's just think about this, this person, whoever this person is. I'm going to be reading my Bible every day for a week, and I'm not going to pick up a cigarette, right? I consider that to be fasting. Do you all agree? And then we can move on with the conversation. Do you all agree? Yeah, De thank you, Deborah. <laughs> Deborah said, Gina, it's a good hair day. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, Christy says, yes, I agree with your fasting. It was you choose whatever you choose to give up. Okay, I see you're agreeing with me. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to make sure, but do you see how you all say it? You see how you all said food base? I think it's something that you love. So, like if um, uh, if you are a total TV, like you love TV, you can't like you can't do nothing from watching TV. Like not, don't nothing stop you from watching TV, right? So that person could say, um, "I'm not gonna watch the TV." for a week and a half. It's what I, I feel like a fast is what you like most. You decide that you want to give it up for a certain time. But so I see that you're agreeing with me. Okay, I just wanted to know what y'all what y'all thought about that. Okay, 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 G Hu just says you're right. Okay. Okay, so Renee says I gave up um, internet for a month. Right. That's what I consider fasting. It doesn't just have to be uh, food and drink, food and water. At, at least that's what I think. Now, I hope I'm not wrong. <laughs> you know, I hope it is just what you love and you decide to give it up, you know, or, or be strong as you can and try to give it up for a certain amount of time, you know. Oh, so Blue320 says give it up temporary or forever wow wow okay that's really good when the person says forever i like that i like that i think that's really interesting when they put forever on there you know okay okay so this person right here uh oh okay this is shirley shirley says i fast from 6 a.m to 6 p.m okay okay so like uh, okay, Denise says, my pastor says it can be anything. A detox fast, that's that spinach smoothie with kale, kind of good. Is it right? So, so now, um, because when I fast, y'all, um, I cannot do uh, what a person without diabetes can do. Right, so I can't do the food and the drink fast because my body needs food. I, if I don't have food, my sugar will drop and I'll be on the floor shaking somewhere, don't know my name, right? So uh, I wouldn't be able to do that food fast. You see, so I, I, I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to make sure and see what the majority of y'all are thinking. So y'all, um, we're right here. We're, we're thinking the same thing. Okay, so that's great. I can't, I can't do, I can't, I gotta eat something because my sugar. Water with molasses and cayenne pepper, is that right? Some people can't fast because of the health. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, see, Purple Love says that's true, Gina. It's so true. I only fast when I have to do blood work. Oh, Christy, okay, I understand. I understand, yeah. I, um have fasted I'd like to say a handful amount of times I don't really know how many times but I'd like to say a, a hand just one handful amount of times I could be wrong but I, I think it's like you know about that many 
Sometimes people give up some, let's see. Some, I missed your message. Oh yeah, during Lent, like red meat, absolutely. So Shirley says, I agree to that, Daniel. Fast is a, uh, fast is a good fast. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> You've been doing intermediate fasting lately. Okay, that's great. That's great. Mm-hmm. I tell y'all what, I'm so proud of myself. Guess what? Because when I came on this live at 4 p.m., this baby right here was filled. And now I feel like it's getting low. It might be down here. So that's pretty good for me. I'm proud of myself. How, let me see. Oh, it's even lower. It's way down here. When you fast, you're supposed to get more. In. Oh, oh, hold on. Let me see what you're saying. Okay, this is my holy king. When you food fast, you're supposed to get more in tune with God. Yes. Yes, yes. But my holy king, I have to tell you, I feel like it's when you any any kind of fast, not just food fast, but I wonder if I'm, am I right or am I wrong? You know, or, or are you right? I, I just, I would love to know because I feel like if you fast, whatever type fast, I feel like you are getting more in tune with God, whether it's the type of fast that includes food and water or it's the type of fast of you giving up something that you struggle with doing, you know. Hey, let, just let, let, my holy king, is there, uh, is there anything in the Bible that talks about fasting? Or whoever wants to answer me. Okay, Shirley Clark says something. Somebody says that's true, Shirley. Okay, let's see. Where are you at, Shirley? I know you're in here. Gina, when you fast, don't supposed to tell anybody. Supposed to keep that between you and God. Oh, yeah, I believe in that, Shirley. I believe in that. I absolutely do. I believe in that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's true. I really do. <laughs> you said, uh, Frankie said, uh, your ads come on uh, unexpectedly. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Christopher says, that's true, Gina. Hold on, y'all. Absolutely. Hey, I think that was a great topic. Right? That I love when we had good conversation, y'all. I love, I love for a good conversation. The conversation has to be great. We're having a great conversation right now. Okay, so Angela says, it seems that Oh, okay. Okay, Angela, that's interesting. Christy said, yes, it was. Great topic. Okay, okay. He said, yes, they did the fast in the Bible. Okay. Fasting, one of two ways. Communicate with the sorf. Second way. Okay, guys. You said, I'm Audi 5000, 80s throwback. You said, great live today. Gina, take care, everyone. Until the next live, take care all. Robert. Robert, thank you coming in for coming in and joining us today. We appreciate having you in our presence. Thank you for coming in. And we will. We'll, we'll see you Monday. Isaiah 58. Okay. Okay, Isaiah 58. Uh-huh. <laughs> What's the next topic, Gina? This is fire. Well, I tell you what, if you got a if you if y'all got a good a good conversation. Um, or a good topic, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. That's what we do here at the Young's House. After we cook, we say a prayer, we eat our food, and then we talk about any and everything under the sun. Let's talk about it. 
Have a good evening, Robert. Hold on, y'all. I, I feel like I got something in my eye. This is my eyeliner eraser. <laughs> hey, Gina, congrats on drinking the jug of water. Thank you, Benny. Listen, I needed that. Well, I must have needed it. I agree. I can't food fast due to uh, diabetes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just thought that was a great topic. Good night, Robert. Did anyone catch the 12 hour online prayer with Pastor John Hanna yesterday? It was fire. I, I don't even know who Pastor John Hanna is, but that sounds like it's great. Now, let me ask y'all something else. Okay, so the next topic. Uh, what do you all think of people that prophesize over you? Tell me what you think about people. What is it? What are they called? So, hold on, let me fix my comment, y'all. Don't comment yet. Okay, what do you, I keep a jug of water next to me every day. I drink water. Sorry, I hope I didn't get the YouTube algorithm. It's a funny... What? Hold on. This part, Frankie. Sorry, I hope I didn't get the YouTube algorithm in a, in a fuzzy with all my number one ways of communicating. Some are real, but most are fake. Oh, okay, so let's talk about it. What do you think of people that would can prophesize? Like, you know, over you. Let, okay, okay, I, I, it's going to take me a minute to read these comments. So if I miss your comment, just comment back. Just comment back. Okay, I'm only one person with just two eyes, okay? Okay, they're called prophets, okay. What do you, I just, I want to know what you all believe. Uh, tell me what you believe. Okay, so Shirley said they were born with the gift. Okay, now Kay Coffee says use discernment. <laughs> Drew says, oh, this, now this could go left. <laughs> it ain't going to go left. I ain't going to let nothing go left on this channel. Okay, I promise. Pro Oh, okay, so prophets and pro, pro I don't know how to say that. Uh, I don't know how to say that, uh, my holy king. Some real, I see a lot of you all are saying some are real, some are fake. A phrase that, uh-oh. <laughs> I know the real ones. Okay, some are real. There are true prophets out there. They prophesied in the spirit. It seems that there are some people... Okay, I'm reading your message, Angela. Sometimes um, I will read the message but not read the whole message out, okay? So just know when I don't read the whole message out, I'm still reading the message, okay? You got me. Oh, where'd she go? Okay. Can be. Okay, okay. Okay, Shirley Clark says the prophecy in the. Okay. Okay, Alyssa, I'm reading your message. Okay, Rhonda Prelo. Okay, so Rhonda Prelo's. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> she said, I know a real one. He scared me sometimes. My goodness. Okay, see, my holy king. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, Gina probably thinks I'm communicating now. Silly spell check word replacement. I don't, okay, some, I, I had to, y'all, I just had to, y'all, hold on, y'all, I had to, I'm sorry, I had to, I think that might have been a troll, I, I just, I just know it was a troll. Okay, so my holy king says you'll know a real one. 
Okay, so let me see this one here. Female. Oh, okay, I got you now. Remember, I couldn't understand what you were saying. You. Okay, okay, so this one, however you pronounce it, I, I kind of don't know how to pronounce it, but that's for the female. So I understand what you're saying, okay? I totally get you, okay? So a real prophet can tell you exactly... Okay, some skin, yeah. When you, okay, hold on, Florence says uh, something good. Oh, when you make sure you, oh, uh -huh. okay, okay, um, I like what you say, Florence. What happened, Gina? <laughs> I, I know, Miss Karen. Sometimes when things don't make sense, don't try to make it make sense, right? I, 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 I had to. What are you talking about? <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I have been prophesized to in the word and the spot. When they tell me something about myself that knows, but me, oh, okay. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Who is that? Valencia. Okay. Okay. That's creepy, my holy king. Let me see. What? What? <laughs> okay, because he said the trolls are hither. <laughs> hither. <laughs> They're hither. No, they ain't. <laughs> that is it. He said that's creepy. That's a funny word. It was confirmation, Denise Billups. What What are you talking about? Let me see what Denise Billups says. I have been. So I, so, so, so when you, think about what I want to say <laughs> and how exactly I want to say this um <laughs> I'm scratching the top of my head if you can't tell I, I think when a lot of people scratch their head they're thinking really hard let me see you have to make sure that they're real yeah you're right you definitely do you want to buy you want to buy Nobody crazy saying that's something crazy to you, right? <laughs> Deborah said she used to date one and he was totally a nut box. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, Denise. Was that Denise? Oh, okay, coffee. That is scary. Oh, I don't like that. Let me read your message again, even though I or I know what you said, but I want to read it again. Let me see, K okay, coffee. Oh, I don't like that. I I uh, what's your name? It's Darium. Okay, okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. church Ron tell me what you're talking about when you say your church or on a serious note you said a false one can destroy your church what are you talking about tell me so I can understand okay Mary Kane I don't understand You know you funny. Okay, Gina, let's talk about what you were thinking. <laughs> no, I wasn't thinking nothing. <laughs> oh, hold on, y'all. <laughs> 
Whoops, almost lost you. You almost went right in my lap, right? Oh, let me see. Yes, Shawnee, I don't, everyone. Oh, 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 Alyssa, yeah, I totally understand that. Yeah, you can't. I don't think you, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> he said Miss Chloe. <laughs> Miss Chloe was deep. <laughs> they had Sylvia Brown, too. <laughs> My Holy King is laughing. I tell people, no thank you. <laughs> oh, Sharina says, no thank you. Or what's your name? Sharnee. Sharnee said, uh-uh, no thank you. T. Love says, yes, I agree. Uh-huh, I agree. <laughs> Oh, okay, Ron is explaining. And at your church, let me, I'm reading it. Oh, wow. Ah, ah. <laughs> Alyssa, you funny. It's funny just to see the emoji behind your message. <laughs> Alan, uh, uh, Angela, that's so funny. You said I could have told her that. <laughs> no, I never went to no tarot card reader ever. <laughs> never in my life. <laughs> No, uh-uh, that's scary to me. That is scary to me. That's scary, uh-uh, uh, stuff like that scare me. Uh-uh, uh-uh, that scares me. <laughs> Y'all laughing. Oh, no, 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 no. That scares me. You know the emoji that does like that? <laughs> I'm going to put that emoji right there. Uh-uh. Well, hold on, y'all. Let me see. Hold on. Let me find my live. Can I get in? I can get into my own live. I know I can. Hold on. Let's see. I know I can get into my own live, right? Let's see. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to do something. Where is it at? Okay, hold on. I know, Ron. He said, when it, yes, I believe what you're saying. He said, when it's God, you will know. Absolutely. This is what I'm saying to... I don't know if y'all can see me. I done made the little emoji so dark. Hold on, let me try to do another one. Why they make him so dark? They can't even see me. <laughs> hold on. Uh, yeah. Hold on, y'all. We can't even see the people. I'll try to do something funny. I put the emo I put the emoji where they say no. <laughs> you can't even see them though. <laughs> <laughs> K Coffee is just laughing at me. No, I think I think tarot card readers or whatever you call it, that's see that scared me. Uh-uh. 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 But I will say this. So I'd like to say in my in my twenties. Oh, you favor Jill Scott. My goodness, thank you. Uh Kizzy Baby says, I see you, Gina. Um, in my, t in my twenties or maybe my early thirties, I, I really don't remember how old I was, but I did go to, um, like this church and, um, there was a gentleman that had prophesied over me and, uh, my family and everything I just have to say, I just have to throw this out there. Everything was spot on. 
and it was nuts. So, and now he was a pastor, um, and uh, it was nuts because when I tell you everything was spot on, like nothing was off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, that scared me, Ron. Ah, uh ah, -uh, uh -uh, forget all that. Well, I'm talking about a pastor that prophesied over me. That's who I'm talking about. I ain't talking about no carol card reader, no psychics and none of that. All that stuff right there scare me. No, thanks. Ah, uh ah, -uh, I ain't doing it. Uh -uh, I'll, be, I'll be burning sage. Uh -uh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Good night, Debbie. Thank you for coming and joining us. Let's see what Mary Jane says, because Drew says that's interesting. you're saying I'm at your message right now let's see <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh Mary oh Mary see dreams like that that's too much that's a little too much I don't want to dream like that I don't want to dream like, yo, look, so my husband tells me that he don't dream. <laughs> he tells me he don't dream. He's like, yo, he's like, I don't, my husband said he don't never, ever have a dream. Like never. Now, there has been a time where he has told me like, yeah, I just had a dream, <laughs> right? I mean, he get all excited, right? Like I dreamt this, right? But that happened like, it really had to be a blue moon, right? Like a blue, blue, blue moon. But he like, I, he, he say, my husband say he don't have dreams. I tell you what, if I eat, let me tell y'all this. If I eat pork before I go to bed, let's just say a bologna sandwich or a ham sandwich. If I eat pork before I go to bed, I have a nightmare. I have a nightmare. I wake up in a sweat, like scared, shaking. I mean, and then they be scary. The dreams that I have be scary. It's only if I have, I don't just dream only if I have pork. I, I dream a lot, right? But if I have some type of pork, let's just say we had subs. And we had these sub sandwiches kind of late. And I go to bed, mm, I'll I, I be like this. I'll be eating my I'll be eating my sub sandwich and I'll be like, oh, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, no nightmares tonight in Jesus Christ's name. Just let me eat this sub. <laughs> right? Huh? He what? I can't hear you. Get the what? Okay. To do what? <laughs> That's Dakota, y'all. I know. Some, but somebody else had told me that if they eat pork, they have nightmares too. Somebody else said that. <laughs> oh, 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 Drew. Oh, my goodness. Let me see. Oh, man. That is crazy, Drew. My goodness. Hold on, hold on, y'all. But uh, I'm reading a Kizzy's message.
not watching gangster movies. Get out of here. You know that's funny. That is so funny. <laughs> Gina, have you ever had a dream? My holy king, you silly. I haven't. No. No. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. I'm texting my husband. Hold on. Let me see. <laughs> Deanna, Deanna says, I will dream about things that happened recently on TV. <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> Drew! <laughs> ah, ah! You gotta be kidding me! So Derek says, "Oh, Derek!" Now they say, "If what?" Uh, let me see what Raymond says. Hold on. <laughs> oh, somebody chasing you in your dream. That right there. That's too much. That is too much. Somebody chasing you in your dream. Now, Derek said something about, uh, uh, or, or somebody said getting chased. Or, or falling. Y'all, listen. When I was younger, I would have a dream that I was falling. And then I wake up like in a frantic and you feel like your heart just dropped. And, but... What is it like a wives tale for people to say? But yet, if you hit the bottom in your dream, you know, <laughs> you know, you a pancake, <laughs> right? I'm just gonna use pancake for example, because <laughs> a pancake is flat. <laughs> so is that true, or is it just a wives tale? <laughs> <laughs> Denise said, let me sit down first. Let me sit down before you go telling me anything. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> You've had, you've had those falling, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Miss Karen said, I've had those type of dreams before. Let me see, this is so much fun. Eula, Eula, I appreciate having you here with us. And you know, a lot of people don't know, I'm just, I'm just like you guys. You know, I'm just like you guys. I just happen to, you know, want to share my gift with the world, which is cooking. But then I'm also just regular, just like you all are, you know. And um, I, I, I love when we come in and do this. It's really like a family reunion to me. It is. When we get on here, we have such a great time, such great conversations. And anything can be talked about, right? You never know what we're going to talk about. We'll be talking about food. Next thing you know, we're going to be talking about how to whiten our teeth, right? right? So it, it's just so much fun to me. <laughs> Cindy Bates, hello, welcome in. Okay, so Raymond said, let me see what Raymond is saying. <clears throat> he said you just be stuck. Ah, ah. Oh, Raymond, my goodness. Oh, Christopher, y'all got some nut dreams. Y'all dreams of something else. My goodness. Now, I have some dreams, but y'all are so funny. My holy king is just laughing. Okay, so uh, let me see. Okay, okay, let me go to Derek Eats. Oh, 
Is that right, Derek? I don't like that type of drink. Uh-uh. <laughs> Let somebody throw a rock. Rocks at you. You're trying to run. <laughs> but you can't run. Trying to scream for help. <laughs> Kizzy. <laughs> gonna tell you I'm not laughing at your dream I'm just I just think this topic is great this topic is great to see the different types of dreams that people have oh man okay 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 Gina okay so T love says G hold on G uh where's T love okay hold on the messages are leaving me y'all okay Shirley Clark says Gina one time I dream about I was in the water going all the way down. <laughs> oh, no. And Nicole is cracking up. So T Love says, hey, Ron, how did the orange chicken come out? I had to run and start prepping for swahi fish. Saturday is, Ron DePrelo says, Saturday is the best for me on your channel. Okay. Yeah, Saturday I try to have a little bit more energy because honestly through the week I'd be pooped and y'all know I'd be tired. I don't be having nothing to talk about. I'd be like, Lord, but I tell you what, I'm going <laughs> to see what I can do so I can pump up a little bit more energy in my veins so that um, on Monday and Wednesday we have a great time as well. Oh, my Holy King says, hold on. Oh, the messages. Oh, that's scary. Everyone, Saturday is great. Wanda McMorris, how are you? Thank you for coming in. Oh, he said, anybody ever dreamed about that? Derek, I haven't, and I don't want to. <coughs> mm. Uh-uh. Oh, excuse me, y'all. <coughs> Wake up and be like, you're not getting me this day. <laughs> Raymond. Ooh. Oh, Miss Karen, is it right? Okay, so Kizzy says. Uh, oh, man. He dreamt, <laughs> he said he dreamt he fell in the ocean. <laughs> oh, man. My husband was talking about going on a boat, right? <clears throat> He's think he wants to get a boat. He wants to get a boat. I tell him, I don't think it's worth it to get a boat because I don't know how often we're going to get on the boat. How often would we use a boat? So I said, I don't think it's worth it, right? And uh, he said, but you know what? He said, I, I kind of have a fear <laughs> of going in the ocean, right? And I said, well, uh, that's number one reason why we don't need to get no boat and be out on the boat. And, and, and so I told him, I said, but we'd be wearing life jackets. And we would have like the, um, you know, the things that, the things, <laughs> what is it called? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Where you could do like this and they could see your fire and they could come save you and stuff like that. He said, oh, we would have to have all of that, right? And I'm thinking, we don't need to be on nobody's boat. We don't need to be on nobody's boat. Huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, hold on. Alyssa says, I was told... If you're told about your dream, it won't come true. Alyssa, tell me what you mean, because I don't understand. Let's see. If you, okay, hold on. Alyssa, let's see. Let's find Alyssa again. I was told if you're told about your dream, it won't come true. I don't understand what you're saying. Or are you writing it wrong or am I reading it wrong? <clears throat> See, now why you fall asleep? Well, hold on. This is funny. I fall asleep watching Unsolved Mysteries. And then you have, see? See? 
Oh, my holy king. Ah, ah, forget all that. To quit doing that. Dakota, I can't, Dakota, I can't focus with you doing that. I can't even read a message. Yo, he got music on and he doing this. I was stopping. Yes, you was. <laughs> he was listening to the music like this, right? And all I'm seeing is his head doing this to the music. I couldn't even read another message if I tried. Because, yes, you was. I, I couldn't even, I couldn't even think. All I see is his head doing this. I don't know what he over there listening to, y'all. I don't know what kind of dance he was just doing. Okay, okay, Alyssa says it again. If you tell someone about your... Oh, is that right? Alyssa, that's interesting. Oh my goodness. Hey, <laughs> listening to DMX. <laughs> what are you listening to? Um, Juice World. Juice World? Juice World. Oh, I ain't never heard of Juice World. I never, oh, that Angela said, I never heard of that. Oh, did he pass away? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he said, yeah, he did. You listening to him? Yeah. Who is that? Um, a rapper. And what he talking about? Lots of things. Like what? He talking about lots of things. What are he talking about? What'd he say? There he is. Tell me a statement. Tell tell me a tell me a a, a flow that he flows. Is is that am I saying that right, y'all? <laughs> tell me tell me a rhyme that he flows. <laughs> am um, I saying that right, y'all? <laughs> help <laughs> help me. What what? <clears throat> Come on, tell me a sentence real quick. Uh, legends never die. Huh? Legends never die. That's what what never die? Legends. Oh, okay. He said legends never die. Was he a legend? People call him a legend. People call, oh, okay. I, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done, y'all. I don't even know him, man. He said people call him a legend. Okay. See, I think legend's different because legends, people know who they are. I never heard of this person. He's not in your generation. And he don't have to be in my generation. <laughs> He, he got to be known to be a legend. That's like Drake. You don't know any of his songs. No, you, that's not like Drake. People know who Drake is, yeah, really. and they could say he's a legend because people know him. Mm -hmm. it, like half of the people in here was saying, I never heard of that. If ain't nobody heard of him, they ain't no legend. Do y'all agree? Do y'all agree, or am I wrong? If I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. <clears throat> <laughs> what? What did it say? Read it. What is that, Google? Yes, read it. Not read it out loud. Look what he pulled up on Google, y'all. Let me let me let me tell y'all what Google just said. This ain't. Uh, let me see. Google says yes, and just because someone dies at a young age, automatically makes them a legend juice was a very talented artist you could have typed that in on ai you could have a he could have had a he could have had ai type that in and he got me reading it this i don't believe Google. none of it don't nobody know who he is <laughs> we ain't talk about no beyonce here i bet you everybody heard of beyonce right she's like 40. <laughs> Mary Jane said, oh, yeah, it's rap music. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Alyssa said, Gina, you so funny. I tell you what, y'all, I love you so much. I do. Uh-oh, Juice ain't no legend. I seen the message right here. 
I seen the message. She said it. She said, you seen no legend? And she made this face when she said it. He ain't no legend. Yeah, he is. He said, yeah, he is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. DMX. Oh, DMX love. He did love his dog. He did love his dogs. He loved his dog so much he would bark. Remember, in, in some of his songs, he would be like, arf, arf. <laughs> right? Arf, arf. Like, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. But there was something about when he, I don't know if he was growling or if he was barking. I I liked when he did that. I don't know why, but I liked it. <laughs> I'm too old to know, says Sea Life's. <laughs> Christopher said, Gina, the eggs on my porch hatched, hatched and they're baby birds. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, I, I, DMX was good. I'm, I'm serious. I love you too, Cindy. Thank you. Y'all laughing at me. Y'all just laugh at me. Oh, he did, Drew. Okay. Speaking of dogs, where's your dogs, Gina? They're in the bedroom. They should use, they shouldn't use RNA. Oh, 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 I understand. <clears throat> okay, okay, so Sue says he may be known by a lot of people. But that doesn't make him a legend. Sue, give me a hand. Sue, come on, Sue. What makes give, me, him a legend? give me a high five, Sue. There we go. <laughs> oh, really? I, I don't remember if I seen that movie. You said Belly? I, I don't know if I seen that movie. <clears throat> I never saw it. He was. He was talented. Yeah. Okay, so Alyssa said, yep, I liked him. Let's see. <laughs> you said he said woof, woof. <laughs> he, he did. Arf, arf. That's what he would do. And I'm like, oh, man, I like that. It was something about it that I liked. When he did that, why? I don't know. I just liked it. It was different, I guess. I, I, I don't know. I have to really think of one of his songs. <laughs> Y'all totally laughing at me. Like, Gina. I love you too, Charlene Bethel. Thank you. <laughs> I love you too. Okay, so Miss Karen says, I think you should have a large catalog of music to be considered a legend. I think so too. How large is his catalog, Dakota? Uh, he said he does. <laughs> Dakota, don't nobody, don't nobody believe you. You lo I love you too. Oh. You said what? You said what? That's 35. 35 what? Oh, no, that's four albums. Four studio albums. Four albums? Yeah. Listen, Drew just said in here, Prince. Ha! Ha ha! Prince was a legend. And I agree with Drew. With Drew. Uh-oh, Raymond said, he ain't, Drew say no legend. M 
McKaylee Ma Ma says, it's okay, Dakota. You're cool. <laughs> 35 songs ain't legendary, is what they said. If you're talented enough, I think you should still be called. Uh-uh. Uh, don't nobody agree. I, I, okay, Angela says, I agree with Drew. If Michael Jackson had 35 songs, would he still be a legend? Uh-oh, Wanda McMorris says, say it, say it again, Drew. Say it again in the background so can hear. So this dude over here can hear. <laughs> Why is my face so light? Oh, uh, maybe because I have makeup on. It could be also because of the lighting. Steve, there we go, Stevie Wonder. Let's talk about Stevie Wonder, Stevie Wonder. Mm-hmm. Prince is legendary, says Derek. Michael Jackson was a legend. Uh-huh. <laughs> Cherie, Char Charny, Charny says, I couldn't tell you one lyric from Juice. I couldn't, I couldn't either, I have no clue. Uh oh, because some of the songs never got heard. My goodness. Michael, okay, Raymond says Michael Jackson was on another level of greatness. You can't even describe it. Tupac, legend. Teddy Pendergrass, legend. Hey, <laughs> he said, What's a juice song? I have no clue. Oh, man, they messing you up in this chat. He's smiling. Uh, uh let me turn the camera. Let me turn the, I can turn the camera. All right, look at look at him. Look at him thinking. You guys are not in the same generation. You wouldn't get it. <laughs> what say it again? You're not in the same generation. It's not the same. <laughs> that's like I, I will think, Elvis. There we go. That's like me thinking that DMX is a legend because I don't really know his music. <laughs> okay, Dakota, I'm gonna let you have that. I'm gonna yeah. let you have that. Y'all, yeah. I want Dakota to have a great day today. <laughs> Nat King Cole <laughs> Miss B says yes Marvin Gaye <laughs> Oh do you even know who Tina Turner was Is what they said yeah. What song did she sing You showed me a couple I've never heard uh, he don't you need, He said yeah What song did she sing you show me her song. What song does she sing? I don't know. You show me. You her don't song. know none of her songs. No. Well, okay. He don't know none of her songs. I, I'm gonna leave him alone, y'all. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave him alone. I'm gonna leave him alone. <laughs> I know, Drew. He don't. He don't. <laughs> Derek said nope. Oh my goodness, Mary Jane, yes. <clears throat> she was a legend with the best legs. Oh yeah, I know. And the best arms. I admire her arms. Her arms had so many muscles. Not that I would ever want muscle arms, like on a serious note, but she did have beautiful arms and beautiful legs. Yeah, I wish my legs was like that. <laughs> Okay, they said, Dakota, you all right. No matter what anybody say about you, says Miss B. Miss B said, you, you okay, Dakota. Oh, Curtis Mayfield. Wow. I haven't heard that name. I know, Angela. <laughs> I'm going to have to do a lot of work. I have to get surgery to get my legs like that. <laughs> Oh, y'all, I have so much fun with you all. <laughs> y'all gotta get surgery to fix them thighs. <laughs> yeah, Dakota, you're cool. <laughs> how much that gonna be to get my legs? How much, how, how much it gonna cost me to get my legs like Tina Turner's? <laughs> Let me see. Oh. <laughs> Can you 
rock that what's love got to do with the outfit i would never y'all it'll take a lot out of me to put a dress on i'm so serious it would take so much out of me to get me to put a dress on i'm serious when i tell you this it would take so much it would it would dolo mike We'll see you on Monday. Bless for life. Thank you for coming in and joining us. I appreciate having you in our chat in our chat anytime you come in. Thank you for coming in. Latina turn her hair. Was I yawning? Was I just yawning? I feel like more than anything, my eyes are just, my eyes are just not awake. <laughs> They're just, my eyes keep closing. I, you know, my grandma used to say, uh, it, I mean, she, why would my grandma used to be denying that she was asleep, right? So she'd be sleeping just like this, like knocked out, right? Dad was just saying that about his grandma the other day. <laughs> He, he said, did. He said that like two days ago. Oh, okay. He said he said my husband said this about his grandma too. My grandma would just be knocked out, right? And you like, oh, grandma, you would say like, go get in the bed. I know you're tired. And she would be like, no, I, I'm just, I, I'm okay, right? And, and, and <laughs> <laughs> you'd be like, no, the TV watching you, and she'd say, no, I can. <laughs> I can still hear it. Like, what? Go to bed. <laughs> I can see now Gina in that red Tina Turner dress. No, you can't. No, you can't. You can't see me in that dress because you can't see me in no dress. Y'all, I don't want to put a dress on. Uh, one day I'm going to have to put a dress on. One day. I don't know when. But I don't want to. I'm going to have to do it. Everybody wants me to put a dress on. But I don't like dresses. I don't like showing my legs. Oh, my goodness. I don't. I, I would have to wear. I don't know. I don't even want to think about it. I don't want to put a dress on for nobody. Let's see, they do make some very comfy, said comfy, comfy. That's funny, comfy summer dresses. I know they do. Let me see, Gina, always all eyes. Let's see, always all eyes shut. They're not asleep. Ooh, that's, that's a scary thought. Oh, that brings up a great topic. I got a good topic. Hold on, y'all. Have a good night, Valencia. Are you going in? Thank you, Valencia, for coming in and joining. <laughs> she didn't even wear a dress when she got married. Me and my husband was just talking about that. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Not even on anniversaries, honeymoons, no. Gina, Gina Young don't put the dresses on. I just don't. And, and, and I, I don't know why. Um, I, I kind of know why, but, but. I, 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 I'm not a fan of dresses. I don't know if I'm going to look right in a dress, y'all. I don't know if I'm going to look right in a dress. Now, my husband, hold on. My husband has seen me in dresses. Um, dress up. You know, uh, he see me dressed up. Uh, and he liked it. But I have to like it. You know, I have to like it. And if I'm not comfortable in a dress, 
maybe I would be one of those people that just put on a pantsuit and look nice in it. I'm telling you, I'm so serious. Dakota said, Ugh. I'm serious, y'all. Let's see. I meant grandma, but thanks for the shout out. What are you saying, pixie dust? Let me see. I do. I have my own style, style McKaylee. <laughs> Gina, the dress or dreads? Dreads. What are you talking about? Yes. Say yes to the dress. I would say I would. I would rock some dreads. I would. I would. I'd be getting them babies. Uh, uh, <coughs> retwisted and tightened maybe i don't know once a month i keep them looking nice and you know uh i would do that over a dress any day oh what was i gonna say the topic was what was somebody somebody said something that i was getting ready to start on the next topic and i forgot what what did somebody say that made me say next topic was going to be what happened i like i forgot what we was talking about somebody said something tell me what you said that made me say i know what we're getting ready to talk about you said you don't own any dresses gina not one in your closet not that <laughs> Put your survey up, Gina, putting on a dress, yes or no. Uh-uh, uh-uh, because uh -uh. I ain't ready to put one on, y'all. I wouldn't be able to follow through with it. If y'all voted yes, I wouldn't be able to follow through with it. The maxi dress would be nice, uh-uh, uh-uh. I had somebody tell me, Gina, I will, get you, I will hook you up on a dress end. And I was thinking, okay, you know, excited. But inside, I wasn't excited. <laughs> inside, really, I was not excited. I was scared. <laughs> what the heck was I going to say? Um, somebody said something in the chat, and I thought, ooh, that's a great topic. Let's see. No, not even a skirt. Uh-uh. Let's see. Sun dress for Gina. Uh uh. Let's see. Don't. <laughs> don't put up the pole, Gina. You'll lose. I know I will. See, Cindy Bates. No dresses for me. I'm a blue jeans and t shirt. That's me. That's me. I'm t shirts, sweatpants, hats, bandanas. Converse, Jordan shoes. I mean, that's just how I dress. Y'all see what I got on today. But I'm kind of girly a little bit today with my shirt on and my um, my jeans are way up here. They're called, uh, where are they at? My jeans are up here. They're called um, high-waisted jeans. They're like high-waisted skinny white jeans that I have on. But um, what the heck? Tell me what we was getting ready to talk about. It was about, I'm going to, hold on, let me scroll through these comments and see where I thought it was going to be a good conversation. Hold on. What did I miss about my childhood? Uh, let me, let, let me think about that. Remind me when I come back from looking in the messages that I want to answer that. Okay, my holy king. Let's see. You can wear one when you go to Hawaii. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Let me go through the comments real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Because I want to see what I thought was going to be a great topic. Hold on. What? Let's see. Thank you, Michaela. Uh, let's see. 
<laughs> I forgot Gina don't wear dresses. Let me see. Uh, let's see. I, I think I'm almost there. Let me see. Let me look. Uh, are you tired? I, I'm, I'm a little tired. Let's see. She did not. Let's see. Help. I thought something was getting ready to be a great topic. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I heard about that, Raymond, about James from Good Times. Okay, let me see. Uh, I might not find it. What do you wear if you go out to a classy event? Ah, oh, Rhonda, that's a good one. That's not what I wanted to talk about. I didn't know where the message went. But if, uh, my Holy King, remind me to answer your question, okay? Um, what do I wear if I want to go out on a fancy event? Um... I would wear like a really nice blouse. I like like a real girly blouse, a beautiful blouse, right? And uh, make sure I have some, some nice jewelry on, right? I like, um, I, I just, a, a, a real nice blouse, right? And some nice jeans that they would be skinny jeans because I like the way skinny jeans fit me. Okay, or, or, or whatever type jeans, whatever type of jeans that I like to fit me, um, I would put some jeans on. I would put some dress shoes on that are not heels because I don't wear heels. I can't step, I can't step my foot in a heel without falling. Okay, so I put on some really nice dress shoes, a dress shirt, maybe a belt. If the dress shirt is long, if the blouse is long, I put a belt around the shirt and i'm stepping out and i'm gonna and and i'm gonna i'm gonna try to look as dressed up as the person in the dress <laughs> i don't know if that works but i ain't, i ain't about to put no dress on y'all <laughs> you wear 18 inch heels myself yeah right oh Alyssa, you like skinny jeans too yeah yeah they just they um they fit good Oops, hold on. I almost, hold on, almost blocked, almost blocked Drew again. No, <laughs> I'm just playing, but I did almost push block on somebody. <laughs> I didn't push it. Y'all remember when Drew got blocked? It was so funny. We didn't know where it came from. Oh, Denise, you love skinny jeans? Yeah, yeah. I like a good, I like a nice blouse. I think if you could find a nice cute blouse, some jeans, you can dress it up and be nice and fancy. No? What about a long summer dress? No. Gina, not again. That was hilarious. What? Oh, the blocking? Yeah. They have nice pantsuits with, see? <laughs> Gina almost fell at a family event in heels. No, you did. Yeah, no. Y'all, I, I already told y'all about my experience. I had heels on and I fell at work. It was just the worst thing. Uh-uh. Once I go through something like that, it's a wrap. I don't want to wear heels. But I think I, they're, they're like some women can put heels on and they look really, really nice. And I like that look. I like the way it looks. But I can't put them on. <laughs> and I'm jealous that I can't wear them. <laughs> I'm jealous that I can't put those heels on. Because I, I have a high heel foot. My foot has an arch. Like, my foot is like this. My husband like, man, you got, your foot is a high heel foot. You got such a big, I do, I have a big arch in the bottom of my foot. It was, 
because Alyssa, it was so funny when Drew got timed out. He was like, wait a minute, I'm calling my lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was funny. He did. He threatened to sue. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it was funny. I think I got a suntan. Maybe. You see? Yeah, I do have a suntan. I'm sitting out there this morning. Uh, drinking coffee this morning. Oh, you like wedge heels. See, I like... Yeah, you're a lawyer was contacted. <laughs> I might do okay with wedge heels. I, I might do okay with wedge heels. <laughs> We're going to ask her about that when she come back. When she come back, I have talked to her too. She's back in her hometown. And uh, so... But she'll let me know when she's coming back. When she come back, we're going to ask her, why did she block Drew? That's what we're going to ask her. <laughs> she's going to say, huh? Okay. Uh, good night, Miss B. Thank you for coming in and joining. <laughs> I'm here, Drew, if you need me. <laughs> I see you, Raymond. That's so funny. I remember a while back, Gina said she almost accidentally blocked me. Oh, did I? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Drew said, Sonia did that? <laughs> Thank you, Mimi. Good night, Miss B. what the topic was that somebody was talking about and I said this is going to be a good conversation it's driving me nuts not to know what I was talking about when I said that what was it y'all I want to know so what is that right there um. it's the orange chicken what are you putting on there? I'm just thinking Was it about your grandma sleeping? No, because I think I finished the conversation about my grandma sleeping. What was it? I hate when I forget something or I don't know. Was it Tina Turner related? I don't think so. Is that what they gave you? Best orange chicken recipe. Mouth-watering and delicious. You can, you can do that. Um, I, I guess it'll come to me, y'all. I don't know. Dreams? No. Oh, I hate that. I hate when that happens. My goodness. Amazon delivered my package and it was my hair conditioner. Leave in hair conditioner. They sent me two. I thought I just ordered one. You forgot to, Alyssa? Yeah, Zadi, how you doing today? See you later, Shirley. Thank you for coming in and joining us. That orange chicken, it was everything. It was. It was so good. Movie on uh, Mary J. Blige's movie on Lifetime tonight. Is that right? Me and my husband are gonna do. Um, we're gonna do our feet tonight. So we have these, uh, like foot spas. And um, Dakota, what, uh, rub, uh, I said rub and wipe. Dakota, put the food away. Hello, are you listening? Cover the food up, please. Cover the food and put it in the microwave. Put it in a big microwave, because I, I, I just saw a fly. I don't want it to get to the food. Um, <laughs> Yo, what the heck was I about to say? Help me. <laughs> oh, we're going to do our feet tonight. 
So we have these, put that up. We have these foot spas and we're both gonna soak our feet like in this solution. And we have um, the stuff that we put on our feet after we soak our feet. And uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna give each other a pedicure. So I'm excited about that tonight. We're gonna do that outside on the deck, you know, on the patio, hopefully before the sun goes down. Or if not, we might have to make a fire, but I don't know how we're gonna do that in the dark. So I'm so excited. We're not using Dr. Teal's. The reason why we don't use Dr. Teal's is because I'm diabetic and I can't use it. They tell you not to soak in Epsom salt. And I believe Dr. Teal's has Epsom salt in it or it's Epsom salt. So we're not gonna use that, um, but I'm so excited. Cause I love, I love when my husband do my feet. It ain't really much he has to do to my feet, but just uh, clipping my nails for me and um, just scrubbing my feet and rubbing them. I love it and I, I'm all excited. The movie comes out at 8 p.m. tonight. I thought you were going to say you were going to have a foot washing. <laughs> no, <laughs> not a foot washing. We're going to uh, soak our feet and, and like, like I said, give each other a pedicure, huh? Uh-uh. Let's see, Lady D says, hello, Gina, sending love from the Big Apple. Welcome in. Thank you for coming in and joining. Okay, let me see this next message. Okay, let me get up to date on these messages because I'm missing the messages. It does. It sounds so relaxing. Y'all, yeah, listen. So my husband has the prettiest feet you ever want to see. <laughs> I just have to throw that out there. I, I'm not. I'm not just. I'm not just giving anybody <laughs> a pedicure. This is my husband, number one. And by the way, he has the most prettiest feet you ever want to see. I'm talking about for a man. My husband's feet is gorgeous, and I love his feet. I love them. Every time I see his feet, I say, "Baby." You got the prettiest feet ever, right? And he just laughed because he, or he smiled because he know he has the nicest feet ever. <laughs> he didn't have a blemish. He didn't have hard skin on his feet. He don't have nothing wrong with his feet. <laughs> and I love that. I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't be able, uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm glad he has beautiful feet. <laughs> Okay, let me see what you're saying. I can relate. My feet are very nice looking. <laughs> My holy king, what are you talking about? I done pulled I done pulled this hangnail. Can y'all see it? Look what I done did, y'all. I got this hangnail right here. I done pulled it and I, I just have to just rip it. See, if I rip it down here, it'll rip the skin. So I kind of want to pull it up this way and get it off. Oh, there it went. But the whole thing didn't come off. <laughs> Alyssa says, my feet ain't bad. Y'all, I love my feet. My husband told me. That when we met, I told y'all the whole story, how much he loved my feet. And he just thinks that they're beautiful. And so he really, like, gave me the best confidence to make me feel like my feet is the most beautiful feet in the world. And so I love my feet. <laughs> I never thought of it like that until we met. And he's like, girl, I love your feet. And I'm like, well, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Hangnails, they do hurt. But I tell you what, I'm going to try to get that baby. Okay, I might. I think I got it. I got it. Oh, Derek. Oh, Derek says my feet are gross. Oh, yeah. Oh.
Yes, Mary. <laughs> Raymond said, Raymond said, my feet touch you. You're going to be in the ER. Oh, oh man. <laughs> no. <laughs> She used to change the topic. Okay, we'll change it. We'll just change the topic. Right, we will. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. So listen, let me ask y'all something. Did you have fun today? Did you enjoy the recipe? And is there anybody in this comment section that thinks that they possibly might want to make this recipe? Anybody? Anybody think you might make this recipe? Hard and jagged. Oh, that sounds horrible. <laughs> yes, Eula said yes. Okay, that's great. It was. It was. Yeah, I got it off. I got it off of there. Oh, Wanda says, I, I have to watch the replay. Wanda, watch the replay. It's what I do at night. It, it, here's the thing if me and my husband aren't busy, and we ain't got nothing to do or, you know, um, I just try to watch something. I'll watch this. I'll watch it. I'll put the comments on the computer so I can go through the comments and see if there's anybody that needs to be blocked. At that time, I'll block them. But I also look through the comments and I laugh. And then I watch it on my TV and I laugh. I laugh. It's like when I rewatch it, it's like... Um, it's like it never happened. It's so funny to rewatch it, right? Oh, Renee says, I can't wait to try this recipe. T Love, I can see. I can see you. Yes, we can see you. Did your messages get messed up? Yes, we are your family, Drew. Yes, we are. And you better believe that. You hear me? Absolutely. You said you enjoy your time with your family. Yeah. Oh, I hope you're talking about us. <laughs> I don't know if you're talking about your immediate family or us, but we are your family. Me too, Drew. Okay, great. See, see if that door. Oh, okay. Okay, the door is unlocked. Did you remember what the topic was? I didn't. It drove me nuts. I don't know what it was I wanted to talk about. It, if somebody had said something, and I thought, ooh, great topic. But now, what is it? What is it? Yeah, that's something new. Uh-huh. I did. We did. We adopted you. Yep. Who did you idolize growing up? Um, who did I idolize growing up? Um, oh, and then you had another, uh, and then you said, what did you miss as a child? Um, who did I idolize? as a child I, I i gotta think about that um my dad i i think i'd like to say my dad i think i would like to say my dad now i i think my answer is going to be my dad for that yeah I'll have to answer it that way. I'm pretty sure that's what I want to say. Because I can't think of nobody else but my dad. We were talking about lasagna. Oh, legends. <laughs> lasagna. What? Oh, thank you, Linda Gibbs. Thank you so much. Yes, I said my dad. 
You were talking about your grandma falling asleep. Someone said your eyes are shut. Not that. That oh, because I already talked about that. I, I know what's gonna happen tonight when I rewatch this. I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna watch it tonight. I'm gonna see that comment and I'm gonna say that's what I wanted to talk about. And, and by then I'm gonna be off the live anyways. <laughs> Joe Osteen is live right now at Lakewood Church. Y'all, I enjoy Joe Osteen. I enjoy T.D. Jakes. I really do. I enjoy Pastor Newman. I really do. Yes, I do. Maybe we can talk about Wednesday. <laughs> um, so, uh, okay, so... Monday is coming up next. What kind of face am I making right now? <laughs> um, I got to figure out what I'm going to make for Monday's live. And then we'll get to Wednesday because I don't even know what I'm making for Monday, right? I, I think this evening... And tomorrow will allow me to think about what we're going to be doing on Monday. But um, what I'm going to start doing is um, on days that I go live, because I, I stopped for a while. On days that I was going live, y'all wasn't getting a video too, right? So now I'm going to bring that back where on the days that I go live, you're going to get a video and you're going to get a live. So that's exciting, right? You're going to get a video and you're going to get a live. So... And that's what I gave to y'all today. Today, I showed y'all how to make delicious homemade, no bacon. When I tell you it's homemade, it's homemade from scratch. No bake uh, cheesecake with berries. Uh -huh, you got it. You got Listen, when y'all promise me, promise me when you leave, when you leave, why, why am I so close? I don't know why I'm so close. <laughs> when you leave this chat, go over and check out the um homemade cheesecake recipe you're gonna love it did you ever go to another country no no steven D gina do you like steven i don't even know who that is for tick i don't know who that is i think that troll distracted her on what the top it could have that could have happened Derek, because i just totally her cat. Beautiful orange chicken. Thank you. Thank you. What word are you looking for? I don't know. That just happens sometimes. <laughs> My husband is back at home. And I'm going to get ready. I'm going to take a nice shower. So we can enjoy our evenings. We can do each other's feet. We're going to listen to some music. We'll probably wind up making a bonfire in the backyard. And uh, we're just going to really enjoy ourselves. So I'm going to get off so I'm not extremely tired when tonight actually comes. I enjoyed my time with you all and I hope y'all enjoyed your time with me. Yes. Oh, yeah. Hey, Ron, you let me know. Promise to let me know what you think about that delicious, healthy spaghetti recipe. When I tell you it was good, you just have to trust me, right? Making the sauce on your own was so healthy versus getting a, a pre-made spaghetti sauce and it's got all the ingredients on it that you can't pronounce, right? Not healthy. But uh, making it yourself was so good. And like I said, keep in mind, if you want to put some sugar into it, hey, go ahead, throw some sugar in there to, 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 to make it taste like you want. But I tell you what, that spaghetti over on the Healthy Channel, Healthy Cooking with Gina, that spaghetti was bomb.com. Do you hear me? Oh, tell the world about Gina. I love each and every one of you, everyone that's in here. I love you all. I cannot wait to see you all on Monday. God bless you all. Thanks for coming in and joining. I hope I made somebody's heart happy today. I hope I can give you all great memories to think about. I hope you can walk away smiling after you get off this live. I will 
Oh, you can't wait. Kathy wants it. Okay, that's great. Gina, you don't give us enough time. What do you mean? <laughs> ah, give me a hug. Give me a hug. Bring it on in. Will the hug resolve it? Will the hug resolve? Come on in. Look out. Come on in. Come in. Give me a hug. <laughs> this, 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 this is a big one, y'all. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Thank you for loving me and my family and this channel. And uh, when I can go live over there on the new channel, we're going to go live over there too. Hey, we're going to have fun. You're going to get healthy recipes over there. Delicious food over here. We're going to be going live on that channel, live on this channel. We're going to have a ton of fun. And we're always going to do it with God on our side. I love y'all. I'm sorry I don't give you enough time. <laughs> I wish I could give y'all a lot more time. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Everybody, each and every person in here. Until the next time, good night. <laughs> I'm smiling. Look at that. <laughs> it's hurting right here. It's hurting right back here. <laughs> good night, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just looking at the last people's message. Love you too. <laughs> What's up with the dip right here? What 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 is that? What what do I have going on there? We need I I 24 hours. I'll see y'all Monday. Good night, y'all.